Hello, everyone. Whoa, I'm hearing myself twice, making sure everything's not too loud. Uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to round number three of the Clay Pigeon Cart Club Championships. I oh, like at that beautiful weather that we have outside. Uh, so, yeah, welcome to a lovely Clay Pigeon Raceway. Hopefully, everybody's doing all right at home. That was a nice little poll on the YouTube live stream that said, should I get on with my job? I voted, and I was the only one to vote, and it said no. Uh, so, <laughs> so welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to round number three, then. We've got lots to get through today. We have quite a few drivers here today. Uh, so, let's get on with the show. I may be joined with somebody a bit later on, uh, but we'll never know. But let's get to it. I'm... Every time I come back up here, I feel rusty as anything. Uh, so yeah, let's see how this one goes. Let's give you the noise of the circuit at the moment. Uh, full of, uh, currently, the Junior Road Tax, I believe it is. And it is indeed. Uh, so you missed out see the practice for uh, the Honda and Road Tax Cadets and the Intermaxes. Uh, so we shall get through to those a little bit later on during the day. Meanwhile, I think I'm going to have to take my jumper off facts that you might not want to know about me. I'm wearing a jumper on a day that's rather warm. Right, let's get the uh, round overlay coming through. God, that looks so nice out there. I have a new mounting system for the cameras, so must have thank you to the Claypool Park Club for providing that. Uh, it makes it easier for me to uh, mount the cameras up and down at the end of each day. And uh, I'll be your commentator for today. The one and only. Uh, I'm Alex Downs. You can find me on my social down below. And I also do stuff on TikTok as well, so I might add that onto an overlay. Uh, at A22 uh, Alex, I think my username is. Uh, so go ahead and there. And I uh, post a couple of things uh, of the bits that don't make it into the YouTube side of uh, the replays and bits and bobs. Right then. Whilst this is all going on, let's give you the programme of events uh, for today. As uh, we go through with all the carts going on by. So, we'll see Rotax Cadets and Intermax are here. So, the running order is the same, uh, well, as round one. Honda and Rotax Cadet together, Intermax, uh, followed by Junior Rotax, Senior Rotax, and then the 177. Rotaxes, uh, Junior Rotax up to 25 drivers this round, uh, so it's great to see so many drivers out there on circuit uh, once again, uh, the biggest grid of this year so far, uh, the uh, cadets uh, slowly grid their grids coming back, um, so hopefully we'll get to see a few more of those throughout the year as well, the Intermax is about the same as well, practice is 10 minutes but you must complete at least three of them, uh, so that is so you are properly in line with the rules. Heats are 8 minutes plus a lap, same as last month, and also the same as last month. The finals are 12 minutes plus a lap. As long as everything goes according to plan. Touch wood. Uh, so obviously the heats will start just after the 177 Rotax practice. Uh, as always. Uh, we have about 68 drivers today. Uh, we had 104 last year, but we were joined by Formula Blue. And your grid numbers are on the screen for those at home. Junior Rotax 25, we've got 15 seniors. They seem to be averaging about the same. And the 177 is up to 10, so it's brilliant to see so many of them. And uh, only one Rotax cadet, I believe, out there this uh, this round, uh, compared to the uh, three that we had last round. Uh, I think it was actually more than three last round. So there we are. That is round number three. All in a few... Bit. So the weather's just on the top left of your screens as well. It's the live section. It feels hotter than 10 degrees, but that's probably because I left a heater on in here this morning. And it's uh, very much warmed me up. <laughs> so let's give a mute to the sounds outside and let's give you the standings for round number three. So this is what it's like after round two. Using the same background. If you want your background to be used, uh, we'll have a post up after this round. Uh, so, for the Honda Cadets, Ethan Cousins is now leading the way with 346 points uh, in the championship so far. Luke McGall uh, goes up to 
finished second with 313. Charlie White, 145 and two points behind, uh, wasn't here last round. Zach Omshaw down into fourth. Uh, Philly Omshaw uh, as well going down to fifth. Uh, joint fifth is Nikita Roberts, uh, is technically sixth in the championship with 137. Uh, she joined uh, at the start of the round last round. Also, by the way, her dad's uh, supporting her from a long way away. Uh, and then Tommy Morris as well, uh, one of our novices, starting uh, at the uh, uh, well at the bottom of the uh, championship standing. Sorry, uh, on the screen, seventh uh, with 130 points. So still a lot to play for. We've got loads more rounds. Intermax, uh, David Morris has gone up from third up to first with 318 points. Jacob Davis, 295. Uh, Kian Downer, 278 points. And only one point behind is Jack Price. Uh, Devin Taylor with 268 points in fifth. 137 points uh, is Rook Thompson in sixth. And Jensen Cox down a few positions uh, to one, two, eight. So uh, still hanging into the top seven. And we uh, always show the top seven on the YouTube live stream. Uh, if I showed everybody, especially in the junior Rotax, we'll be here for hours. So we go to the junior Rotax, speaking of them. Arthur Thackley in the championship by only a single point, 270 points. Uh, Jack Wetz with 269 in second. Uh, Daniel Tribe, 262 points in third. Lucas Howe, uh, 259 points in fourth. Jarek Metters, 256, so not too far behind fourth position in uh, fifth. And uh, in sixth position, I forgot to change the five to a six. Uh, it's Billy Edgecombe with 253 points. And then Joshua Wickham at the bottom of the screen on the top seven with 234. So just a correction for the junior Rotax. I missed a number to change. Uh, so Billy Edgecombe in sixth and not joint fifth. Still very close again with the top two in the juniors. For the senior Rotax, that's a shrink a name for one of them. Uh, Leo Purchase leads away with 287 points. Alfie Davies with 264. Two behind him is Jamie Burt in third in the championship. Uh, alongside Cameron Crockett as well, both on 262 points. Uh, Jack Mayman in fifth in the championship so far with 250 points. I feel like I've done this all completely wrong. I think I've mistyped a number. Uh, Daniel Beard sixth with 264. I've looked at the wrong number, haven't I, somewhere? I've mistyped Daniel Beard's number. <laughs> uh, Patrick Williams, Rahag, one of our novices, 224 uh, in seventh. I've missed something there. God, look, Alex, you had one job. Uh, in the 177s, you might not be able to believe me now if it's all correct. Uh, Harrison Crick needs away, 335. Uh, Ian Branfield in second with 322 points. Cameron Marson, 287. Uh, with Derek Hunt in fourth with 278. Ben Johnson, 276 points uh, in fin uh, fifth position. And Ian Hardy, 251 points in sixth. And then Jason Bear, 133 points in seventh. So meanwhile, whilst that's going on, let's get the correct one. Uh, let's go to the Play Vision Card Club website. Uh, we'll go over to the uh, menu on the uh, mobile version. Go to championship tables and then we'll go to uh, senior max. And it's 2 3 4 for uh, Daniel Beards, who is in sixth. So there we go. It's not 2 6 4, it's 2 3 4. <coughs> so as that dips to black, we'll go to colour. And let's bring the noise of the junior ray tax out on the grid. So Joshua Withcombe with 34 3 6 as the fastest lap time. For that one. So, hopefully, everyone is all right on the YouTube live stream. We are live throughout today, and uh, well, we also got some special shout outs that I've uh, been so kindly asked. Uh, so we'll get through to those eventually when they uh, fly out onto screen. Meanwhile, check flags out on circuit for this one. And I've popped a window open as well. <laughs> I forgot the uh, checker flag, and some of these overlays actually work on this screen, so uh, there we are. 
Uh, so, yes, once again, hello to everybody on the YouTube live stream. We'll be live throughout today. We have over seven hours of commentary. I have a blocked nose because I still have the cough from last month. So if there is any pauses throughout this commentary today, uh, please bear in mind that, that is just because I still have a cough. We'll make do. We always do. So let's see how today goes, shall we? We've got quite a bit of uh, competition going on. So uh, let's uh, get ready. It's a beautiful day out there today compared to the last round. Obviously, it's not race start, but it's uh, practice underway once again. Uh, you can click the link on the chat that's pinned at the top uh, if you want to check out the live uh, timings and positions. So let's get them up on the side of your screen. We don't have the exact live timings uh, on the screen. Uh, actually, I might have them. <laughs> Who knows with me? I have everything everywhere. So, birthday boy is Bertie Wellesley, who's out on circuit. The number 48, who's uh, just gone over the line, actually. Uh, going to Billy's. Uh, set and fast as that so, uh, so far. So, uh, birthday Bertie. Bertie birthday. Oh, Bertie birthday. That's his nickname for today. And uh, I also have a shout out for Amelia, who's out there as well. Uh, shout out to Rita, her lovely nan. Is uh, watching at home or wherever she's watching from. Uh, so a shout out uh, to Rita. Uh, it's always lovely to do uh, shout outs to anyone and everyone. And if you want to support your driver throughout today, then get yourselves into the YouTube uh, live chat and uh, we'll do that as well. Obviously, we have uh, Nikita Roberts Ace, a bit of support from her dad, uh, who is a long way away. So all this commentary is going through the YouTube live stream at the moment. Uh, we'll be live at the circuit very, very soon once the racing gets underway. Uh, Leo Perch is currently fastest, 34.26. And uh, let's actually power ourselves over to the Tannoy. So good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to Clay Pigeon Raceway. We've been live over on YouTube with all the extra bits that you don't see whilst you're here. Uh, so head over to the Clay Pigeon Cart Club Facebook page if you want to check out all the bits of uh, the YouTube live stream over there. My name's Alex, and I'm going to be commentating throughout today of all the live action that you see over the next seven hours or so. So a long day ahead for quite a few of us. And let's see how it goes with the beautiful weather that we've been provided for the third round of this year. And happy April. So we're just going through all the drivers out there and their lap time so far. Uh, Leo Perch is currently fastest out there with a 33.95. It's an absolutely ballistic time uh, pushed out from him. Alfie Davies, uh, 34.25, currently second fastest. Ludwig Beresford in third, 34.31. Emilia Nelson uh, just shooting up to third with a 34.27. So, uh, 30, uh, sorry, a 34.25 as it just updates all on the screen. So some really uh, quick times there. She had a uh, shout out to her nan, Rita. If you want to support your drivers throughout today as well, head over to the YouTube live stream and uh, we will uh, happily provide you with a shout out to your driver who you are, who you are supporting uh, today and all that sort of stuff. Uh, also, there will be unseen bits that you won't hear here at the circuit. Uh, and instead, they'll be over on the YouTube live stream instead. Mm -hmm. 
So we have uh, three novices out on circuit at the moment. Patrick Williams Rahag in the number 95, Aidan Pomeroy in four, the number 47, and uh, Rosie Armstrong as well uh, making return the number 44. So great to see the uh, novices returning uh, once again. We'll see how they perform throughout the day alongside all the rest of our drivers. Patrick Quirk over on the YouTube live stream saying the Czech Republic watching as always. Welcome back. Great to see you on the YouTube live stream once again. Giving us some uh, giving me some company up here in the commentary. Uh, so practice is ten minutes long today. Uh, so we will see people dipping uh, out or off the track during points of today. It's always great to get the uh, additional practice throughout uh, the morning. So we have seven in the pits so far. Uh, Alfie Davies has gone into the pits. We have uh, Evie Poulain who's gone into the pits as well. Uh, I believe we've had Jamie Burt go into the pits. We've had uh, Jack Maven go into the pits as well. Dan Burt's gone in as well. He uh, thinks he's done enough for this practice alongside Jamie Bradfield and Daniel Beards. Uh, so they're the ones that have popped into the pits so far. Uh, and we shall see how the rest perform. Where there's uh, a lot more running space for all of these, uh, especially in the seniors here. Three minutes 30 left for this practice session. Catherine Reed saying good luck, Patrick Williams Rahar. Number 95, currently 13th fastest uh, with a uh, 34.90, fastest a 33.95. So uh, we shall see if Patrick can find the one whole second throughout today. As uh, Leo Purchase showing some true pace early doors today. Amelia Nelson up into second fastest, 34.09. See where she gets to throughout today as well. As I know, when Nan's watching, no pressure. So, still traveling through this practice session, 228 left to go.
So I uh, just went off to uh, get my biggest fan, quite literally. <laughs> it is quite warm up here. I only have... <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I have the windows shut, so... Uh <laughs> Trying to keep it as cool as possible up here, uh, whilst having not too many windows open. Uh, so yeah, as a <coughs> oh god, I shall try not to cough too often uh, down the microphone. So please excuse me if I do. So, what do we reckon to today's racing? What, sh what sort of things do you reckon we're going to get uh, with this one? Uh, with today. As, uh, last round we had some uh, decent competition throughout. And, uh, yeah. We shall wander in good time. So let's give you the names up on the screen for the 177 and 177 Masters and leave you to the sounds of their Rotax engines. Ten drivers all together. So we are nearing the halfway mark for this one. I'm just recording TikToks. Sounds a bit sad, but uh, I do post behind the scenes and uh, extra bits uh, over on my own personal uh, TikTok. Uh, just because it's always interesting to uh, add those bits. I do some funny things sometimes. 
Well, I think they're funny anyway. <laughs> yeah, so I just did a little setup tour with a dodgy extension lead that is broken, <laughs> that doesn't get used. <laughs> Uh, so if you notice as well, uh, the hairpin horseshoe combination is a little bit tighter of an angle than it usually is. Uh, so you can just make out on the left as well the uh, lights. Uh, you obviously won't see the red lights actually being activated, but uh, yeah, I've got those uh, uh, ready as well because so I can get a bit more view of the exit of the uh, exit of uh, the S's at the uh, back bit of uh, uh, of the sausage curb so yeah we'll see how today's race uh, racing goes I don't recommend getting the cold ladies and gentlemen I really don't so yeah feel free to support your drivers throughout the day if you are here if you haven't subscribed yet to the Clay Pigeon Kart Club YouTube channel we're going to try and get to 700 subscribers uh, hopefully if we can push uh, before the road tax festival a bit later on in the year uh, we did have a uh, sneak peek trailer for that one as there is a whole new format for the road tax festival this year uh, more information to come through but uh, for those who haven't seen the video yet it should be on this YouTube uh, channel but also uh, for those that are here watching the road tax festival later on this year is combined with round seven as well so it takes the same or similar format to uh, the Wessex Challenge, which is next month. The return of the Dragon, who's going to be the new crowns of our WC plates, and uh, also our first Intermax WC champion. That's going to be one to uh, look out for. That will happen next month, but we still got seven hours or so, maybe less, of uh, racing here for round number three. This is where it all matters at the moment. As we uh, follow all these cars racing around the track. Uh, we've had half the grid pretty much pop into the pits. Uh, Ian Hardy, Dan Milner, Ian Branfield, the regulars pretty much. Ben Johnson as, as well as including Cameron Marston. As I try and keep my voice in tone. Hopefully you're all enjoying the extra sounds from uh, the microphone downstairs. Uh, try and add some uh, extra sounds so you can hear all the uh, carts going around. Adds a uh, little bit extra to the YouTube live streams instead of just hearing my voice. Which I know can be a pain sometimes. <laughs> So two minutes left on the clock for this practice session. Let's uh, continue listening to the remaining uh, two, five carts on track. So we can do some music in the background as well for this practice session too, just so there's uh, not too much going on. Let's do an audio level check with my phone. Yeah, I don't have headphones on whilst I'm up here. Um, just 
because it's effed up. <laughs> no, because I can only hear myself now and not the YouTube live stream, just the uh, setup I have. Uh, still work in progress. Uh, hello to everybody who has just tuned in. Uh, you're just tuning in to the remaining minutes, or well, actually seconds, of the 177 and 177 Masters practice. thrown out to the remaining two drivers. There was three, but uh, two that takes the checkered. So it'll be action time real, real soon. With all the noises as usual for the YouTube question. Right, sorry music, you're gonna have to disappear for now. We'll see more of that music from Epidemic Sound a bit later on during the break. Which will happen miles away as there's a load of time left till we get there. Right then, it's action time then, and it's time to get ready for our first lot of racing, shall we? Here's the grid for the Honda and Raytax Cadets for heat number one. Eight minutes plus a lap. Uh, Ralphie Branscombe. That's a name, new name, isn't it? That's a new name to me. Uh, alongside Ethan Cousins on the front row. Charlie White and Nikki Roberts will take row two. Luke McGall is alongside one of our novices for today. On row three, that's Callum Gardner. Uh, seventh, Dewey Hockridge and Zach Ormshaw. Welcome back, Zach. Uh, on row four. On the fifth is uh, Ethan Coupland and Tommy Morris. And on the back row by himself is Finley Thursfield. Uh, Taking that back slot on the grid. He's last but not least. I'll do some live editing of overlays. Because <laughs> why not? So what do you reckon who will take it out on top for this one? Is it going to be our regulars or is it going to be uh, one of our novices making a surprise for us? Let's find out, shall we? Uh, hopefully they'll be out real, real soon. Let's get ready to rumble. Let's get ready to rumble. Get ready. Da, da, da. I'm going to clip that later. <laughs> I see a little man called Kirk. He's got a coffee. His dad is smiling. I'm gonna mute. I shall be back shortly.
button. Right, let's get into the first heat of the day. Let's get the right screens up. Eight minutes plus a lap. Let's get the right bits on the YouTube live stream as well. So you slow them down over at the hairpin towards the horseshoe next. I think 96 is a bit further further ahead at the moment. As we come down the main straight, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready. Let me get on the tannoy as well. Uh, let's get going for the first heat of the day for the Honda and Rotax Cadets. So straight round the corner at Billy's through the S's. Down the back straight we go, the 96 leading away. That's Ralphie Branscombe. Going into the hairpin. Around the hairpin towards the horseshoe next. 96 a little bit slower coming out of the hairpin. Around the horseshoe gets a bit of a better drive into the horseshoe. And remains out in front so we'll know who will be leading the way. But what's the rest of the pack going to be? Top bend. Down the main straight. Let's get your names on the list. I have the right screen up on the YouTube live stream. Uh, so it's Ralphie Branscombe followed by Charlie White. Then Luke McGull. Ethan Cousins. That's possibly going to be change in between Ethan Co uh, Ethan Cousins, Callum Gardner, uh, Nikita Robertson, sixth, Zach Gormshaw, seventh, uh, Jimmy Hockridge in eighth. I hope I'm saying your name right. Uh, Tommy Morris in ninth, and then Ethan Cutland in tenth. And there has been an overtake indeed, number twelve on the ninety-six. So a change for the lead with Charlie White. So down the main straight we come, lots of battling from the front, that's not my words, that's Kurt's words. I'm joined by Kurt Kaplan up here as well. Keeping an eye on the extra overtakes that might happen outside. Uh, so the 17 leading the way, Ethan Cousins, and then Charlie White in second. So around the hairpin towards the horseshoe once again. A spin down at the hairpin by one of the midfield drivers. That is the 96 of Ralphie Branscombe. So he was chilling in fifth position at the time. So coming down the main straight, we still have our top four grouped together. Fairly grouped together with Nini from Cosins, Charlie White, Luke McGall, Callum Gardner. Fifth and sixth looking close together. Nikita staying on the back of uh, Zach Ormshaw, I think that is, one of our novice drivers out on circuit. So around we go, the top four all Honda cadets. We only have one Rotax cadet currently in uh, ninth position. So from the top bend down the main straight we go. On to five laps completed, no changes from the top four just yet. Looking for some moves out there alongside Luke McGall too. Still nothing from our top four. 
the rest of the pack a little bit more spread out so we're not going to see too much change just Nikita Roberts has got ahead of another driver there uh, got ahead of Zach Cornshaw change the camera angles up here uh, so he's really keeping an eye on our top three or four uh, 26 a little bit further back We see see any changes from these top three soon. Luke McGall pushing to Charlie White at the moment. The 15 fastest out there at the moment, 40.93. So into Billy's there you go. Through the S's and then down the uh, back straight we go, also known as Sturmy Straight. And there's been a move made into the hairpin. There's a swap between third and second. We'll confirm that as they go into the horseshoe. And uh, the 15 now ahead of Charlie White. So Luke McGall up into second position. And Kurt was just telling me you can't really just tell the difference between two, and he's not wrong. Uh, both very similar colour schemes on their carts. In fact, it's the same colour scheme on their carts. Uh, so both running the same livery kits out there. So we're going into Billy's for eight laps completed through the S's, bouncing over the curbs. And uh, 15 already on the back of our leader, Ethan Cousins. He has some early pace. Well, I say early pace. There's two minutes left. Uh, Jack Philpot on the YouTube live stream saying good luck to Charlie Cox and the Junior Rotax. Uh, so if you do want to send your support throughout today, feel free to pop it into the YouTube chat. I'll try and put it out onto the YouTube live stream. So going in today's it's still the three together. Nikita Roberts uh, just happily in fifth at the moment, slowly catching to the 26. The 17 looking a bit slower than the 15. He is looking for the overtake possibility. Is it going to do it down the main straight? As we go on down, he's staying behind for the minute. Staying right on the rear of the 17. So going into Billy's. Staying behind before the S's. Going down to Sturmy straight. Along the back of the circuit towards the hairpin. Still nothing. The 17 going a little bit wider coming out of the exit of the ha uh, hairpin. Oh, you've got the horseshoe and hairpin mixed up again. It's bound to happen at some point today. Uh, three buttons and uh, towards the top bend. Still no changes. 30 seconds left. So into Billy's. Still the same going into Billy's from last lap. Still staying behind for now. Through the S's. Sturmy straight. He's still looking. Going into the horseshoe. 15's right behind the 17. Still. This battle for first is... Uh, still got one more lap to go with it. So... From the top bend down the main straight we come and we'll go towards the last lap board that put out by our start finisher. So the overtake opportunity is coming into play. The 17 having to take a defensive line but sliding down the inside. Luke McGall has passed down the back straight. And there it is, the 17 trying for an attack straight away, trying the outside of the hairpin. Right on the curb, nearly running out of track a little bit there before the horseshoe. Around the horseshoe we go. Even Charlie White's trying to have a go at the 17 as well. Uh, Ethan Cousins, not as much pace in these late stages, but towards the top bend. And then, ladies and gentlemen, the first checker flag falling for round number three. The 17 going to look on the outside. It's going to be very close. But Luke McGall takes the checker flag first. 
Ethan Cousins very close. 0.06 is the gap between those two at the end of that one. And then Charlie White in third position. Uh, Canem Garner, our top novice as well. Uh, the number 26 in fourth. Nikita Roberts finishes in fifth. Uh, Dewey Hawk Ridge in sixth. Uh, Zach Corbinshaw seventh. Ralphie Brands coming in eighth. Uh, just coming over the line to 43. Ethan Cutland in ninth. And then Tommy Morris. Where is he? Here he is. Coming down the main straight. And uh, we'll finish out for your top 10 for the Honda and Rotax Cadet. Heat number one. So the grid for Intermax then. So Devin Taylor on the front row with Rook Thompson on the second row, Spencer Trehorn and uh, Kian Downer. And then on the third row, Jake and Davis and our speedy and current championship leader, Ava Morris in uh, on the third row, starting on sixth. Just making sure I don't put the uh, sounds over the tannoy too often. So let's see what we get from only six drivers out of the Intermax this round. We had a few more last month. So towards the top end, Jamie Ormshaw saying go Zach for the uh, Honda and Rotax cadet. So I think that's a late one from me. But we have the false start flag straight out for the first uh, Intermax formation lap. We are a go for the Intermax for their first heat. So into Billy's. Through the S's, down Sermi straight, and it is the 14 out ahead, Devin Taylor. So they're going around the horseshoe. We're going through the top bend, down the main straight. So your running order is as followed. Rook Thompson followed by Jacob Davis and Ava Morris. In third, Devin Taylor straight down to fourth after a very good start there. Uh, Spencer Trehorn to fifth and then Kian Downer into sixth. So top bend down the main straight we come. And leading the way is the 11. Rick Thompson followed by Jacob Davis and Ava Morris. Starting to make a slight gap. There's some changes at the back. 14 and 41 having a battle. Devin uh, Taylor sort of falling down the order slightly.
So going through the S's, uh, leading by a little bit of a margin. Rick Thompson, 37.84 so far uh, for the fastest lap time, that is. Uh, followed by Jacob Davis in second. Third and fourth catching up. That's Ava Morris and Spencer Trehorn, the two speedy from memory of last month. So through the S's goes our leader, followed by second, then closely followed by the 41 and 32. Spencer Trehorn finding his pace once again after uh, falling down a few spots from the start. So top bend he goes, coming down the main straight. Sixty-seven still in second. Swap between Spencer Trehorn and Ava Morris. Through the S's they go. Brooke Thompson with a two point one second lead so far. As he's going around the horseshoe. Followed by the rest of the pack as well. Towards the top bend goes our leader, and then second and third. What we're going to see from Spencer Trayon with this uh, secondary pace that he's found from uh, the start to now. Uh, we have four minutes, so just about halfway through this race. So through the horseshoe we go once again. So main straight, 67, the 41 right on the back of the 67 as well. And there's been a swap possibility. Uh, and also just been notified by Kurt. We have some contact warnings given out uh, from uh, a little bit earlier. Uh, we had Ava Morris and Devon Taylor both given contact warnings. Uh, so a little bit of fierce competition between those two uh, on so far. Easy to miss those contact warnings when they're put out on the uh, timing screens. It's all right, though, because I have a second set of eyes up here. He is indeed Spencer Trehorn up into second. Jacob Davis down to third. Uh, 37.56 fast lap time by our leader, Rick Thompson, leading by 3.53 seconds. Very Pacific up here. So, still feeding through the rest of this race. Two minutes, uh, uh, no, no, it's two minutes 45 seconds. I nearly said two minutes 30 then. Terrible eyesight, me. So down the main straight for our leader, going on to nine laps completed of this race. 41 is back up into the seconds positions. Uh, slowly trying to decrease that gap. It's not closing just yet. Rick Thompson just keeping his pace as it has been from the start. Midfield pretty much spread even at the moment. So I don't think we're going to see much from them anytime soon. Back up 3.57 seconds. So nearing one minute left on the race clock. Coming down from the main straight, leader Rook Thompson 
then uh, Spencer Trehorn, then Jake and Davis, Ava Morris, Devin Taylor. There's not been much changes from them. They've all sort of stayed the same. Spencer Trehorn is slowly closing that gap, but finding three seconds at this stage of the race, will there be enough time to close the gap? As uh, we go through for our leader, top bend, and the main straight here down and right at the back, the uh, 26. The gap still 3.39, so 3.3 seconds. Still too far to catch with nine seconds left. Five seconds left. It's changing constantly. So through buttons, also known as the right-hander, top bend, and our leader coming down for the final lap of this race. Or is it going to be? Yes, it is. Very close, but uh, last lap, here we go. 3.32, so Rook Thompson definitely keeping this first, unless he has a uh, spin, not to jinx anything or anything. So down Stemmy Straight is now at the hairpin. 14's looking for an overtake as well. Devin Taylor on uh, Ava Morris, who's uh, not showing her pace just yet today. Everyone's sort of even, uh, but coming down the main straight though, and uh, will be taking the checkered flag, is the number 11. Brooke Thompson takes the checkered flag first, Spencer Trehorn second, Jacob Davis third, uh, Ava Morris fourth, Devin Taylor fifth. And slowly but surely, coming down the main straight is Kian Downer. Uh, no top novice, because there is no novices in the Intermax. Uh, but fast lap time goes to our leader and winner, uh, Rook Thompson, 37.56. Right, so let's go to the big race. Ellis Snow on the front row with Arthur Thacker. Jasmine Taylor on second row with... Uh, oh, I missed who the second person on the road. I think it was Matthew Turner. The grid is on the YouTube live stream. Uh, so you can find that on the Clay Pigeon Cart Club Facebook page. And then you can get to our YouTube page. And you can click on the YouTube live stream. Or as Kirk said, you can just look it up on YouTube. Clay Pigeon Cart Club. I'll try and remember to uh, take my overlay sounds off of the YouTube live stream. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the biggest grid of today, 25 total drivers. And uh, we will be full starting just for the first one as we try and gather them all up. Uh, some of the ones at the back trying to catch up. Huge re grid. So will we get second times a charm for the start of this race? So for the right-hander then, much more grouped up than before. N 
no commentator's curse for the second start. So we are underway for the first one. And everybody keeping it on the road. So lots of moves down the inside of the S's. Uh, there's been a spin at the S's now. The back a bit of a pile-up caused at the start of the S's. Hopefully they'll be able to all get going. One's going cross country, but we'll go back to our leaders and focus on them. And it is the 84 leading the way on this one. And uh, by the looks of it, uh, they've got a static yellow down at one and two. They're getting underway. Yeah, well, let's give you order. Jasmine Taylor leading the way, followed by Ellis Snow, Arthur Thacker, then Matthew Turner, Will Swales, and Jack West, and Logan Bennett, then Charlie Cox, Rufus Fran, then Daniel Tribe. That's all of them under one breath. Eloise Marlowe saying, have a good one, Will Swales. Have a good one. Uh, so someone off at the tyres down at the hairpin, but let's focus on to our leader. We'll find out who that is very shortly, but it is. Jasmine Taylor still leading the way, a switch with Arthur Thacker and Ellis Snow. Top four spreading away from the rest of the pack as we go for fifth downwards. That's where a majority of them are. We have yellow flags still at the hairpin, so that puts that area out for racing at the moment as uh, the driver down there. Uh, which I believe that might be the number 55. We'll, we'll make any assumptions just yet of who it might be. It's uh, Billy Vaught. Uh, the number 29. So we're still flying on round. Uh, him back for contention for overtakes where our leaders are and that is where there is some potential overtakes and possible he did indeed number 29 uh, managing to get going again though it's a lap down already and our leaders catching up very quickly to him uh, so through Billy's and uh, from the earlier incidents that we had at the start of this race. Uh, we have a very smoky cart out there for a second. The number 12 Charlie Cox is gone now so uh, hopefully it should be okay for him to carry on but meanwhile change for the lead. 14 ahead of the 84. So from the top bend down the main straight we go. We're still flying through this race. 14 leading the way, 84. Then Ellis Snow, number Ventilate the uh, room. <laughs> it's so hot up here at Clay today. But uh, Arthur Thack is still leading the way. I can hear myself even further now from the tannoy. Give you the contact warnings up on the YouTube live stream as well. So, for the fastest lap, Joshua Withcombe, uh, 34 3 1 is the fastest lap. Uh, number 73, he's currently in eighth position. Uh, but our leaders starting to catch up with the back markers. Uh, we have a uh, 
driver DNFing from this race, unfortunately. Uh, and also, we're getting everything going on. Uh, Logan Bennett giving a contact warning just now. Uh, up on the top left of the YouTube live stream for yourselves. It's quite small, but you can see it. So trying to find where our leaders are, and uh, they are overtaking back markers going into Billy's. Blue flags galore for uh, this will be for the 30, 55, 52, 95, uh, and uh, 29. Whoa. And it won't be for the 95 because uh, Carthy Kometa has uh, finished his race unfortunately early on, but uh, still got a couple of other heats to go through. Uh, Joshua Withcombe given a contact warning as well, so uh, contact warning number three for this race. More blue flags being shown as our leaders showing quick pace. Still no change from our top six. Uh, Ellis has got ahead of Lucas Howell, the number 19. Matthew Turner, ninth. Charlie Cox, 10. Easily can lose uh, where our leaders are throughout this race. So uh, our leader, number 14, catching up with the back marker of Danny May Reed, one of our novices. Uh, she is in 22nd. Speedy Boy in sixth, Joshua Withcombe. Those have been able to take that fast lap. Joshua Withcombe up into fifth, so some changes in the sort of midfield. A lot of drivers looking for overtakes. Most of these uh, trying to get ahead of our back markers as well. So around the horseshoe, through the right-hander, top bend for the midfield. Meanwhile, I found our leader again. The uh, 14 speeding on through. Jack West is up into second. Jasmine Taylor down to third. Really easy to lose them with uh, 25 drivers out on circuit. We've lost uh, only two drivers so far. The 29 and 95. That may be incorrect. It might be only one driver. The number 30 going over the line, being caught up by our leaders. Down to try button for third. Time is ticking down. Seven, six, five seconds left. So uh, next time the 14 comes around, we'll be leading to the last lap of this race. Down the inside of the horseshoe. That was tight. The uh, I think that was 28. I'll have to confirm as they come on. Uh, meanwhile, last lap board given out. And the swap that I saw was uh, indeed it was the 20 of Rufus Flam ahead of Matthew Turner down for 11th position. But a very strong race. We have another driver out of this race as well down at the hairpin. Uh, but meanwhile, still going on through. I found our leader. Top bend it is. Catching up with uh, one of our back markers as well right at the end of this race. But taking the checker flag, it's going to be the number 14, Arthur Thacker. Won it on the uh, early stages of this race. Jack West in second. Daniel Tribe third. Jasmine Taylor fourth. Joshua Withcombe fifth. And he kept his fast lap as well. That is a 34-3-1. Uh, Lucas Howe, sixth in the end. Logan Bennett, seventh. Ellis Snow, eighth. Charlie Cox, ninth. And Jarek Metis, tenth. Uh, and then our top novice is Vlad Tomanchuk. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Number 36 in 20th.
So just waiting for a few recoverings. And uh, then we should be able to get underway with the uh, Senior Rotax up next. I'll right, we'll put the grid on the YouTube live stream for all of you to wa uh, watch. Yep, that's the word. Uh, so, Evie Plain and uh, Jamie Burt on the front row for the Senior Rotax grid uh, for Heat 1. So here we go then, Senior Rotax Heat 1, the grid was shown on the YouTube live stream. So let's see what we get from the Senior Rotax grid. Uh, 16 drivers overall, three novices, uh, as you all know, novices starting out the back. So, as they're all bunched up. Let's get ready for this race, the very boy at beginnings. So let's get going as we go flying it through Billy's and through to the S's. And now uh, we still be straight to 51 million the way and very uh, Push it out the cart there, through a uh, hairpin towards the horseshoe. Try not to get those two bit leveled up. That's uh, so 51, 56 then red cars. Ben Smith, uh, if you notice during the perhaps he doesn't have his uh, transponder on, but this time he does. He's uh, currently in eighth position, but it's Jamie Burt leading the way, followed by Evie Poulain, then it's Ludwig Beresford in third, Emilia Nelson fourth, and Aaron Fortin, shout out to Rita. Uh, Jack Lehman in fifth, Samuel Cook in sixth, Alfie Davies seventh, Finn Smith eighth, like I said earlier. Leo purchased ninth and a DNF from a driver uh, just at the exit of the horseshoe. I'll, get, I'll just confirm with you in that one in a minute. I think that is. That is the 95, I believe. I don't recognise him from a distance because he's got a new seat on the looks of it as he nearly falls uh, off the chair. Not to embarrass you or anything. Uh, so down semi straight for our leaders though, with uh, one DNF early on, Jimmy Burt still leading the way. That midfield really grouping up now. All charging down the inside, the 19 really looking for a move. Using a lot of curb. Jamie Burt, Evie Polena, Emilia Nelson, Jack Maven, Ludwig Beresford, Alfie Davies. Flying through the S's, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five, count eight cards. That goes into the hairpin, lots of changes. A huge battle going between the 70 and the 74, right on the inside. 
going to the top bend and possible further overtake as well. Contact one and given two, second position, uh, easy to lane. showed his pace during his practice session early on. So some more changes, Alfie Davis up into fifth, it looks like Jack Maitland's had an off somewhere. Uh, when I said he's had an off, he's in the pit. So we've lost uh, three drivers so far. Uh, that is uh, the driver of Jack Maitland, Samuel Cook and Patrick williams Rahag. Only three non finishers at this race so far. Hopefully, see them on their next outing on Heat 2 a little bit later on today. Meanwhile, Jamie Burt still leading the way, Leo Punch up in second, Julian Nelson third, Evie Plain fourth. At the back of that six, meanwhile, fifth, changing up into the fourth. Jimster taking advantage of that gap that was made and then left behind. So the 56 down a couple of positions. Also looks like number 92 might be joining this party as well. Let's see, coming down the main straight. Closing that gap, 0.17 to gap. Alfie Davis now taking the pass. Yeah, she's down the back straight, 71 right in the back bumper. Going into the hairpin. And it's ahead for Mr. Speedy Purchase. Another dark. Early on this race, but uh, changes again for the top. Leo, Alfie Davies, then James Burton. Top two flying away. Finn Smith down the inside. Pulling long suit, it's one of Jamie Burt. So your top three change once again from the end. Up into third, and then the 19, 51, 21, then 56. So some more further changes to be had during this race. Two minutes, 16 left on the clock. And resultingly, they both losing out on that top slot, which has just given Finn Smith that front page. They've managed to both keep going, though. A little bit further back than they wanted to be, but uh, that changes that order massively. In fact, Alfie Davis. Uh, with enough damage, he's popped into the pit. That's another driver we've lost in this race so far. One at 20 left on the clock.
going over the line there uh, in the 11th position. Uh, Rosie Armstrong there, but meanwhile, the 19th catch up with our back mark. Bend and then taking the checker flag in first position will go to the Finn Smith at number 19, followed by Amelia Nelson in second. Uh, Eden Plain in third, Jamie Burt fourth, Ludwig Ferris fifth. Uh, Leo Perch in second, Percy Wellesley seventh, Daniel Dears eighth, Jamie Bradfield ninth, and then Aidan Pomeroy will round out your top ten. Uh, he is also our top novice for this race as well. Fastest lap goes to our DNF finisher, Alfie Davies. Uh, in number 74, we lost four other drivers as well. Dan Burt, DNF, in, uh, about seven laps ago. Uh, then Jack Maiman, 10 laps ago. 12 laps ago with Sammy Cook and then Patrick Williams are hard right at the start of the race. Uh, so hopefully we'll get to see them a little bit later on. So some recoveries to be made, and then we shall be able to get underway shortly. One seven sevens, the list on the YouTube live stream for you all. at the top are we going to have a change for the top we shall find out over the course of the next eight minutes if they all uh, gather back up together i realize i keep turning myself off the panel you wouldn't have thought i've never done this before but i have I promise you right let's see what we get from the 177 and 177 masters heat number one so top end So, <laughs> let's see what we get from these drivers. One just taking an instant shortcut through the uh, track. He ran out of road. Uh, so who's going to be out on top then as we <laughs> go into the horseshoe? And it is the 43, 46, and 15. 
not much change from the top of our uh, 177 grid here. Followed by Ian Branfield, then Ian Hardy, then Jason Bear, Dan Milner, Cameron Marston, Harrison Crook, Ben Johnson, Derek Hunt, and Josh Dunay is your top 10 and only 10. See if we get that later on. That is our 43 and 46 away from the rest of the pack. And we see the 72 of Harrison Crook charging through the pack as as ever. Kevin uh, at the moment coming down the main straight. Down there on the YouTube live stream as well. He's just started straight past Billy. Through the S's, Darren straight. So now we'll have our usual three at the top. In fourth, uh, we'll have uh, Jason Bear, by the way. It's a, bit, a little bit of a tussle between two cards at the horseshoe. They are currently stranded for the minute. Are they going to be able to get themselves going very quickly as uh, their front and rear bumpers? have decided to uh, stay connected like Lego bricks. They managed to get themselves going. That is the uh, 61 and 22 Ben Johnson, Derek Hunt. Looks like one of them will be retiring from this race as well, unfortunately. And uh, that will be Ben Johnson that's heading into the pits. Anwar B. Smith in first position, Ian Brownfield second, Harrison Crook third, Cameron Marston fourth, J uh, Jason Bear in fifth, Dan Milner in sixth, Ian Hardy seventh, Josh Pauline eighth, Derek Hunt in ninth, and that is the nine of running ten. Harrison Crook lead uh, fastest lap, uh, 35.19. So he is uh, charging up to our top two. That a change of position to 43 and 46. Battling between one another. Derek Hunt, our second DNF of this round. Uh, of this heat, even. Hopefully we have to see him back a little bit later on. I think he was involved with the uh, little pilot then on the race still. A lot of going on between the two. There's two down at Billy's. Goes to another. That's the 33. And 15, I believe that is as well. So uh, Ian Hardy and uh, Josh Poulain. So whilst everyone's where they are. We'll keep an eye on your top two. And uh, if you're watching on the YouTube live stream, all listening up here. Let's go for some listening naps. Oh, okay. that's the uh, 43 and 46. Have a battle.
so with 20, uh, 20, 30, 30 seconds left on the clock. Uh, Ian Brown, Brownfield leading the way, Anwar B. Smith second, Harrison Crook third, as they are coming down the main straight now. Slowly catching up with our top two, but is he going to be able to catch up quick enough uh, before the end of this race? So through the horseshoe they go. The right-hander, and then towards the top ten. And down the main straight we come. So last lap, 46 leading the way. Anwar B. Smith, 35.07, fastest lap time from him. And how's he going to third? Through the S's. Taking the check and flag, it's going to be. Ian Bramfield takes the check and flag, and will be Smith in second. Harrison Crooks third. Cameron Marston fourth. Jason Bear fifth. Jordan Lane sixth. When they come over the finish. It could indeed, but it has not. And as such, your results. Look the screen. See yourselves there. Ian Brownfield taking the lead on that one. 35.07 from the number 43. So that is the 177s completed. And we go back round for the loop of classes and we'll be back to our Honda and Rotax cadets. Try not overlap everything going on the, on the tannoy up here. Uh, hello everybody always watching on the YouTube live stream. Yeah, we'll be live for the rest of today. Let's see uh, what we get from uh, all our classes throughout today. So, uh, so here we go for the uh, younger grid. There's your grid on the uh, screen. Nick Gall and Nicky Roberts on the front row. Ethan Cousins, Charlie White on the second, and uh, Ralph. Uh, Branscombe and Ethan Cookman. Well, as all that on the third row, uh, spin uh, at Billy's. So let's get ready for the second heat for our cadets on the and Rotax forms indeed. A bit split from the front and back, but the uh, front pack staying quite close. All of them in the right position as well. Staying on the, the racetrack through the S's. 15 and 17 out ahead at the early stages. Turning in fifth, looking for an inside move on the 77. Stays behind just for the minutes. Going through the horseshoe to through the right hander, then the top bend.
as they are going on through. Uh, seven minutes and nine seconds. For some reason, they're all staying, they've all slowed down, uh, which is uh, rather unusual. So the 15. Uh, it's been full start. Uh, whilst I try and figure out what's uh, actually occurring, <laughs> we had a race start and now it's. Um ah, so I found the reason. Uh, our timekeeper has made a boo boo. So, a little technical issue. So I think they're going to be regridding them uh, once more. bit of contact to uh, at the start of the race but uh, make sure they're all good and then we should be fine to get going again a little technical issue down in timing be able to get started on the way shortly. We'll uh, resume commentary once they get going. Right, let's see what these are doing now. So I believe this might be a formation lap. little taps going on. So slowly coming around the right hander after a little technical issue. Uh, two more to the top bend and then we should be able to get going once more. Restarting the clock. Possibly reset. Spinners, unfortunately. Going to spun that out there on the circuit, but let's carry on then with the rest of our runners. So, that's a 15 followed by the 96 segment. 
currently it's well. Then Charlie White, then Philly Thursfield, Charlie Gardner, then uh, Dewey Hockridge, Zach Ormshaw, Ethan Cuplin, Bobby Morris, and then Nikita Roberts. Cutland, Tommy Morris up into eight. Going down Sturmy straight to going down the inside. And one of them being uh, Nikita Roberts. Currently looking for another chance to go down the inside, staying behind the 79 of uh, Tommy Morris. That we should keep an eye on. Nate McGall with a bit of a lead as well. Play between 96 and 26. on the 26. He is indeed right at the top bend. We'll uh, confirm that gap very shortly. Coming down the main straight day. That gap 2.43 seconds. Gaps at the front though. 72 going to catch up in the 96. Find out a little bit later. Making some good progress out there through the right hand there towards the top there. Catch up to the back of pack. Passes that goes to Ethan Cosson so far. 41, uh, 1 8. Up into seventh position he goes. That's the pack through the S's now we need back straight, aka Sturmy straight. Jamie Ormshaw on the YouTube live stream saying go Zach. Currently P6 and uh, passing position with uh, the 17 as well. Luke McCall going over line. Three seconds is the gap between first and second. Okay. Through the S's. Down, Sturmy straight. Charlie Brown was giving a contact warning uh, a couple of minutes ago during this race. Currently second. to Roberts right up close to the 43 now. Keep flying through this race further and further. I'm going to change the camera angles as we go through on the live stream as well. 
occasionally forget. So 15 leading the way, Luke McCall still from very early on in this race. Top three very evenly spread, three seconds between first and second. The 63 still challenging the 43. Down the back straight, that 43 being the one and only Rotax cadet driver out there today. Two of them tussling through the right hander and towards the top end. And then the main straight they come. Is that side by side? He's getting his nose in, that's for sure. Stays behind four billies. Just like that, goes ahead. So the 17 ahead of the 72. So one minute five left on the clock. Cut to that. So the, the little kink going into Billy's change between the two. So the 96 ahead of the 17, that's unchanged from the top there. Uh, so through the horseshoe towards, uh, sorry, through the hairpin towards the horseshoe, I've done it. Branscombe, so he's up into fourth position. Kevin uh, Fairfield in seventh, Nicky Zimbabwe in eighth, not forgetting Zach Hornshaw in seventh. And we will be going for the last lap of this race. The goal taking that last lap board. So one last lap, and then possibly going to be unchanged from our top three. So down, down the back of the straight goes our leader, leading from the start. It is in down in eighth position. There's Will there be enough time? Is the question we should ask. Will she be able to catch up? So, top bend, and then down the main straight. Who's taking the checkered flag? Luke McGaw takes the checkered flag first. Charlie White in second. Uh, we go for Callum Gardner, our top novice as well for this race, in third. Ethan Cousins fourth, Ralphie Branscombe fifth. Henry Thursfield in sixth. Zach Ormshaw will take seventh. Very close to the bike to Peter Roberts. Uh, Dewey Hockbridge in tenth. And then uh, slowly but surely comes down for 79. Lovely, and that is the Honda and Rotax Cadet for heat number two.
Right then, let's go. So let's go for the Intermax for their second heat then. It will be going back round again for a full start. So back round we go for the formation lap. Let's see what we get from uh, these six. We've got Kean Downer, Rook Thompson, Jacob Davis, Spencer Trayhorn, Ava Morris, Devin Taylor. So come in at down the main straight and we are underway for this one. So going through Billy's, through the S's. And down Stanley Straight we go. Let's see what we go through on the, the opening stages of this lap. So from the top bend down the main straight, who's going to be leading the way at the start of this one? So it is the 67 followed by the 11, very close between those two. Then it's the uh, 26 of Kean Downer, Ava Morris fourth, Spencer Trahorn fifth. And that's changing at that back three as uh, whoever was fourth is now into sixth. So that's the 41, Spencer Trahorn. Uh, so to the top bend once again. And uh, it is the 11 now leading this race. 67 in second. Uh, 26, for Kean, uh, 26 of Kean Downer in third. So those three staying where they are for the minute. Uh, Devin Taylor battling with Spencer Trahorn at the back. And then we uh, don't forget even Morris in fourth. Uh, we've got a uh, good luck to Rook Thompson. Uh, that's from Billy Edgecombe, chilling out in the YouTube live stream. So top bend and down the main straight we come. Next lap, uh, three laps completed. Jumping through the S's, touching the sausage curb on the exit. It was uh, Kean Downer there, battling with Ava Morris. It's side by side going into the horseshoe. Stays at three in a row for the minute. Through the right hand up. And then uh, towards the top bend we go once more. First and second flying away just a little bit. And then it's third, fourth, fifth for the battle of third. Oh, and down the inside goes. Very nice late lunge there. Worked out perfectly for Spencer Trayhorn there. Through the S's, down the back straight. She is looking for overtakes indeed as we keep going through this race. Uh, through the right hander they go. It's all changing at the back of this grid so far. So going around the horseshoe, we'll keep an eye on this back four because that is where all the action is happening. Through the right hander, top bend. And we'll go for any possible changes side by side by the back two, the 26 and the 14. 
Kian Downer and Devin Taylor. As he's going to switch again at Billy's uh, just before the S is even. Uh, so the 14 ahead of the 26 now once again. Devin Taylor, Kian Downer. Ava Morris really looking for some positions uh, to... Sorry, not positions. Positions on the track to try and overtake uh, the 41. Patiently waiting. That is by 1.53 seconds. through this race we are 11 going through into the horseshoe now so goes our second position driver of the 67 and it's 41 and 32 close between the two Changes two minutes thirty eight left on the clock. They were at top and still leading by one point six four seconds. Jacob Davis second. Trey on third. Uh, he has a fast lap time of 37.57. So not too much happening from this grid at the moment. Everyone's sort of evenly spread. Spencer Train on potentially going to catch up. Is there going to be enough time? Well, there's two minutes still left on the clock. So anything could happen, with, uh, especially with Jacob Davis going a little bit wider coming out of the top bend. Around Billy's we go, and towards the S's, that gap closing ever so slightly. So towards the hairpin, and it's going to be an overtake possibility. No, not just yet. Not too much pace coming out of the hairpin there from the 41. So the horseshoe stays behind, looking down the inside of the right-hander. Not too steady through there, and as such, stays in third. So coming around the top bend and down the main straight, we come once again. And a yellow flag. And he does spin out indeed. Forty-one Spencer Trayhorn there, slamming on the brakes and unfortunately has spun himself out. And as such, unfortunately, down to sixth position, which changes our top three, promotes Ava Morris up into third, and she's already looking for second. Every time she gets into the top three, she just targets the next one. So into Billy's we go. Around Billy's. Stays on the inside for Ava Morris. She's up into second. And that is only with five seconds left of this race. So we still have an additional lap to go on this. So coming down the main straight will be the number 11. We will take the last lap of this race. So through the S's he goes down the back straight. Meanwhile, Ava Morris still defending off Jacob Davis. Going through the S's, a little gap's formed. And down Sturmy straight goes our back two. So coming down the main straight, we'll be taking the check of flag. It's going to be the number 11 of Rook Thompson. 
Uh, followed by Ava Morris and Jacob Davis and Devin Taylor. And that is your top six complete. Right, so next is our biggest grid of today. That's the Junior Rotax. Uh, so let's get ready. 25 very keen drivers. Out on circuit for this one. And uh, only 24 going over the line for this race. So we're only seeing 24. Let's see what we get. As everyone gets excited and comes along with the Start, finish. Start, finish? Start, finish straight from the fence. <laughs> so, as they all grid themselves up together uh, towards the top bend. Coming up from the top end down the main straight. And uh, it has been full started this race so far. So we'll go back around once again. Let's see if we'll be able to get going second time. The charm, not to jinx it. We'll put any commentator's curse on this. So regrid themselves once again at the top bend. Let's hopefully get going this time round. So coming down the main straight. Let's see if we get going and we are indeed. So into Billy's we go. We're sort of nearly three wide in some places going into Billy's. But it's side by side for the S's. And it's all staying okay through the S's. Four wide, and uh, as such, that's uh, made some people's tyres a road bump. Uh, so some of them are slowing down a little bit and uh, reduce themselves to the back of the grid. Four wide at the entrance of the S's. That's a first for this year. So it's Lucas Harrell, Jarek Metters, Joshua Wifkin, that's your top three. Stars down the inside going into the S's. Lots of eager junior OTAX drivers for this race once again. Our top three has still unchanged for the minute. Second place made an absolute lunge at the hairpin and as such promoted it up into second. And that is where the switch is for those three. So we've got the top five spreading off from sixth. Uh, 
half out indeed. Good well for Charlie Potts looking down the inside and overtakes our fourth position driver, so he's up into fourth now. And that is Jasmine Taylor. down the back straight towards the hairpin. South Wales currently in 18th position and uh, Jasmine Taylor in 5th. She's at the back of this uh, top running 4. Coming down the main straight towards through Billy's and towards the Essence. I'm really looking for some sort of gap to form to Lucas Howell out in front. From Dubai, wow. <laughs> so close between that top two. Indeed, so going the round the horseshoe through to Buttons and then towards the top bend for our leading two. Possibly soon to be three and four as well. So towards S is close getting between the top two. Wheel 12 of Charlie Cox catch up with Jack Messers in the 53 and third. We're looking at those ones. And a very wobbly overtake at the hairpin. Yeah, glad to Chuck into the pits. And of course, we hope we'll get to see him back in heat number three. Uh, meanwhile, that overtake I was talking about a little bit earlier on. Uh, that is. The number 14 ahead of the 15 and 92, I think that is. Yeah, it is. Of Jack West, who has the fastest lap time of a completed of heat number two for the junior race tax. Daisy Cannell says hi. Hello. Kirk is definitely on it with these warnings that have been popped out onto the YouTube live stream uh, and onto the Alpha Timer as well. So the 31 catching up with the driver ahead of him. He was leading but not by too much though. Joshua Wickham only 0.29 seconds behind. Not much in it. We've done a few about a car to whip so far.
enter. So, no time left on this clock. There is our leaders. There we go. Last lap, ladies and gentlemen, for the uh, Junior Rotax heat number two. Through the S's down the back straight, the 19 still leading. As we go into the hairpin here. Third and fourth are not too close, but Luke Howell still leading the way to Joshua Whipcom, Jarrett Messers, and then Charlie Cox. What do you reckon? Is it going to be close? I got a nod. <laughs> so coming down the main straight then. Taking the check of flag. That's Kirk with your full finishing positions for that race. That was the Junior Rotax for their second heat. And uh, we'll be up with the Senior Rotax is next. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, at home, we will have uh, the grid order for the Senior Rotax heat number two. See what we're going to get from uh, this grid of 16 drivers. They uh, slowly form a grid together, a lot of them weaving around to uh, get some temperature in their tyres. This is very slow from the senior Rotax here. So slowly to the top end. So here we go. And this is the first time. And uh, into round billies we go through to the S's. And it's the The way that's that burst. Smith right behind, oh it's actually right beside and now right in front but it could change again to the horseshoe, it doesn't for now, it's the 19th, Finn Smith leading the way, and a few changes through the first few corners. Uh, 
in eight, uh, Evie Pillay in ninth, and then Bertie Wellesley in ten. So a strong competitive start to this race, but Finn Smith has flown. drivers, or uh, to your friends, or to me and Kirk up here in the YouTube live stream. If you box, then uh, pop into the YouTube chat and uh, feel free to say hello, just like quite a lot of other people have as well. Go straight to the Yes. 
is. your lineup for that one we lost four drivers all together in during that race but that is the senior rotax for their second heat all completed so that means we move on to the 177s and 177 masters so let's see how this next one goes for everybody at home hope you're enjoying the live stream there are six of you watching so far during this race Day, race day. <laughs> We're just waiting. <laughs> he beat me to it. Uh, so just one for recovery, and then we should be able to get going shortly for the 177s. Let's see what sort of uh, race we get from these uh, 10 drivers, I think it is. And the grid is on the YouTube live stream. 
as always. as uh, the grid was on the YouTube live stream. Let's see how this goes over the next eight minutes and a lap. So coming down the main straight then, let's get going this race slowly and steady. They come around. Oh, 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 around. So going into Billy's. Indeed they are. <laughs> <laughs> 17, sorry by the 33. Dan Miller and Josh Pooley. Harrison Crook, then Amaral B. Smith, then Ian Brownfield, then Cameron Marston, Jason Bevan, Ben Johnson, and Ian Hardy. So around the horseshoe we go, 1733, then we've got 43, 46, 72. Harrison Crook right in the middle of that uh, third downwards gap. Top end we go for this heat two for the one seven sevens.
see what we get from uh, these drivers as we fly through the rest of this race. And it looks like it's uh, changed since. So it's Dan Milner, Josh Villain, and then Ian Branfield. That is your top three. Similar to the ones of the last one.
leader, uh, well, sorry, the winner of that race, Ian Bramfield, uh, finishing with a 35-1-6. all the lots of heats done and uh, we go into now uh, the third lots of heats Clearly grid it is up on your screens if you're watching at home Just about to cover that on pitch string. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's get going for the start. So down the main straight we come. Let's get going. What is the order? One, two, test of the microphone.
going to be followed to the hairpin next. Towards the horseshoe. And then... Four minutes left of this race. Four minutes left indeed. Uh, so it's the 17, then 15, then 12. Let's see uh, if we get any changes furthermore to this race. So Zach and Pete are changing. stream throughout today. Uh, so three minutes thirty-eight left on the clock. Uh, top three still unchanged. And so is our top to the top corner. They come up to the top corner again, still looking for overtakes. Watching from home, go Zach. Go Zach, go Zach, go. So there's Jamie Ormshaw on the uh, YouTube live stream there. Just letting uh, Kirk enjoy himself, commentate the uh, Honda and Rotax Cadet Heat 3. So still the 17 ahead of the 15. The 12 trying to catch up with the rest of that top two. 79 trying to catch up. Tommy Morris trying his best at the back of the grid this race. Ethan Cosin still leading. And that is uh, 0 0.0. 0 0 0.07, hardly anything in between those two drivers and hardly anything between the rest of this race. Uh, only eight seconds remaining. Jamie Ormshaw on the uh, YouTube live stream saying, Ga Zach, go brum brum. So coming up to the top end and we'll go to the last lap of this heat. Luke McCall is in front of Ethan Cousins, and Ethan Cousins is trying to look for an overtake, but Luke McCall is still. This battle is just getting started between these two. Through the S's and down the back straight we go, aka Sturmy Straight. He is indeed trying to take a different line to do something, going to the horseshoe. 
little bit wider coming out of the horseshoe. <laughs> to the top bend and coming down the main straight. Ladies and gentlemen, going to be taking the checkered flag. For the lead. Ethan Collins on the track. Oh, it's close. Luke Paul still in the lead. He takes the checkered flag there for the Heat 3 of this race. Luke McGraw followed by Ethan Cosner, then Charlie White, then Ralphie Branscombe, then Run. Callum Gardner, then Nikita Roberts finished sixth, Dewey Hockridge in seventh, Zach Hormshaw eighth, Finley Thursfield ninth, uh, Ethan Copeland tenth, and then Tommy Morris is in will be eleventh. Eleventh. Just got to wait for the other two to uh, pop them down. Slowly comes down the pit straight past the finish line. And there we go, that is the full grid complete for the Honda and Rotax Cadet Heat 3. And we'll see them a bit later on for the final. <laughs> so, ladies and gents, that is the last time we'll see them for their heats. And uh, next up will be the Intermax. What's the grid? Yay! <laughs> yeah. uh, this is the Intermax grid for all of you at home. Intermax heat number three. 41 leading, and then second, Eva Morris. Third, Jacob Davis. Fourth, De Devon Taylor. Fifth, Rick Thompson. And sixth, Kian Downer. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so let's go around the horseshoe and grid up the Intermax grid. That makes total sense. So through the right hander, and we'll slowly come towards the top bend to get ready for the third heat. Carson Boyd going into the Intermax. That's just going to keep it on that last race there. Right, coming down the main straight then for the Intermax heat number three. We are good to go straight off. So around Billy's we go. Through the S's and down the back straight. So 41 taking a lead already. Eleven already looking for overtake. And we've got up to third. Very quickly up to third indeed. Give you a running order in a minute. In second. So around the top bend, down the main straight. Let's give you the running order after lap one. First, Spencer Trahorn. Second, Eva Morris. Third, Rick Thompson. Fourth, Jacob Davies. Fifth, Devin Taylor. And Sixth will be Kian Downer. Right, let's continue with this race then. Uh, 7 minutes 17 left on the clock. As 41 starts to make a gap on the top corner. And through the S as we go, down Sterling Straight. Up 
to the top corner. Down the pit straight. It's a 41 leading, 11 seconds, 32 of Ava Morrison third. Uh, Jacob Davis fourth, uh, Devin Taylor fifth, that was Kian Downer is sixth. Horseshoe. Now heading up to the top corner. And down we come once again. No changes still to this running order. Thompson with the fastest lap, 37.82. Up to the top corner. Going down the straight. <laughs> Once more, still unchanged, but uh, the 11 slowly catching up to the 41 as we go into this next lap here. Into Bailey's blind. Through the S's. Down the back straight. Also known as Sturmy Straight. Still no changes from the grid, but it's getting closer between a couple. Top corner, down the straight. Side by side between our top two drivers, Spencer Trehorn and Rick Thompson, going into Billy's. So a change for the lead, uh, six laps into this race. Uh, so through the hairpin and horseshoe we go. Ava Morris just lingering in the background of those top two. Speeding up to the top corner. Down the straight we go. Rick Thompson, Spencer Trahorn, Ava Morrison, Jacob Davis, David Taylor, and then Kian Downer. That is your running order so far through this race. 37 8 1 is the fastest lap time by Rook Thompson, our current leader. Very Four close still. 41 still looking for overtakes on Rook Thompson. straight once more time. So it's 11 and 41. Those two still keeping with each other for now. The 32 of Avermar is still watching this one from behind. Uh, and then Jacob Davis and Te Devin Taylor, the two also potentially could have a change. So we'll keep an eye on this as we go through the rest of this race. Two and a half minutes to go. Edgecombe saying, come on, Rook. Currently leading the way of this race. A gap of 0.44. Going into Billy's and through towards the S's. Splitting away slightly. Uh, meanwhile, the 16, 14 7 and 14. They are indeed. Going into the hairpin and then towards the horseshoe. So down we come once again. One minute fifty left.
down the pit straight. And Rook Thompson is the one still leading that one. Spencer Trayhorn second, Ava Morris third. Devin Taylor and Jacob Davis have swapped. Three yeses. Yes. It's still swapping between the two. Through the S's, those two go down the back straight. 67 leading ahead of Devin Taylor, the 14. Those two are still having a bit of a competition between one another. 11 pulling away from 41. It is indeed back to the battle with the... As they head up to the top bend. 67 and 14, those two still having a battle with one another, going up to the top bend once more. And down the main straight, those two go. Ava Morris catching up with the 41. And through the S's we go. Devin Taylor still looking for overtakes and Jacob. That battle for fourth is definitely hot. Going through the horseshoe, those two go. The last lap board up now. Three the S's. Can indeed, and especially with keeping an eye on fourth and fifth, those two very close between one another, and the only ones really close to each other for this last few corners of this race. Heat three, only a few corners to close. Uh, by the way, going to the top bend though, and coming down the main straight is Rook Thompson. Second. A very happy Rook Thompson. In third, Jacob Davis and fifth, Devin There we go, that is your top six for that race. And that is the Intermax Heat 3 finished. And we'll be back a little bit later on for their final. Uh, obviously, we've still got a break to go through for that one. Uh, so next up to the biggest grid we have. It's Junior Road Hacks. Right, let's show you the grid on the YouTube live stream. Floor. There it is. Uh, junior race hacks grid there for yourselves, uh, all watching at home. No hanging around for the junior race hacks, an absolute swarm. 24 drivers all together. Levi Sanghera in second, Logan Bennett in third, Maxim Smith in fourth, Jack West in fifth, Daniel Clyde. Sixth, Harry Gilbert. Seventh, Will Swallows. Uh, eighth, Lucas Howell. Howell. Ninth, Rufus Flan. Tenth, Matthew Turner. Eleventh, Jarek Metters. Twelfth, Joshua Whitcomb. And they are coming down the main straight straight away. And it's false started for just one at the moment. And there's been a couple changes in the grid positions. So as we go back round once again, one of the drivers spinning out near the front of the grid, so hopefully they'll be able to reposition themselves back to their grid position. Uh, but let's hopefully now. and hopefully get underway with this one. Second time a charm. So down the main straight. And uh, we're back with a false start.
So here we go. I'm not going to try and jinx this one, but third time's a charm. Let's get this one. Hopefully. Fingers crossed underway. So towards the top when we go, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, let's get hopefully going. I'm not going to jinx it again. And uh, this time we are going. So around Billy's we go. And three towards the S's. Everybody's staying relatively on track. We've got one uh, spinner at Billy's. We've got one at the, at the back of the other. So carrying it on through. Uh, so still going on through. That looks like the 92 of Jack West leading the way. So let's go. Let's give you your running order for this race. Uh, so it's Jack West and Daniel Tribe, then Levi Sanghera, then Harry Gilbert, then Logan Bennett, then Lucas Howell, then Will Swells in seventh, Joshua Withcom in eighth, uh, Rufus Flan in ninth, and then Maxim Smith in tenth position. Uh, for the start of this race. Still all changing in that midfield though, uh, in that top 10. Going around the hairpin and horseshoe. So Jack West, Andrew Tribe, Levi Sang Hera. Uh, let me go to Logan Bennett, Lucas Howell. Uh, still a straight line going through the S's down the back straight for those ones. And around the horseshoe we go for the 92, then 61. Towards the top end we go. And uh, down the main straight for a very busy starting junior road tax. Pete's here. Jack West, Daniel Clive, and Lee. Top three. So we're still flying on through. Keeping on another overtakes. Uh, one getting a little bit wide at the Billies. Down through the horseshoe. Going into the horseshoe. We've got some down, down the inside of 53 onto the 20. Uh, so Jarek Metters ahead of Rufus Flan. That's two and 61 flying away from the rest of the grid at the moment. 34.96 fast as that from our second position driver of Daniel Tribe. So it's still flying through this race. Down the back straight we go and uh, looking in that lot. Lucas Howell's in that lot in the top four. So coming down the main straight then for the next lap, going on to five laps completed of this race. Jack West down your tribe. Logan Bennett very closely followed by Lucas Howell. Lucas Howell really looking for a gap on the inside, cannot get it just yet. As, uh, more gaps are being created further down the grid. So around the hairpin we go towards the horseshoe. Charlie Cox and Daniel Tribe. Some of those early on in the race as well. Uh, but we still fly through this race. Four minutes, 20 seconds left of this race. Very quickly going to halfway through this race. So through the S's down the back straight for the 15 and 19. Uh, third and fourth, we're going to spin down at Billy's. Other drivers make sure they don't overtake whilst they're there. Uh, so down we go, a little bit slow coming out of the S's as well for a couple of those drivers in that pack. And we've got one in the tyres down at the hairpin, unfortunately, two spinners. So down the main straight we go for a lot of these drivers here. Through the S's go our leaders of the 92 and 61. 
Moved up to 18 and Harvey moved up to 19. Vlad Tumet moved up to 22. And it looks like the two that are in the uh, tie wall at the moment is Danny May Reed and Billy War, unfortunately. Let's see if they'll be able to get, <laughs> get going again. They get caught off by a cough. So down at Billy's. Lots of moves being made by the 26 of uh, Levo Sanghera. Billy Root out and Danny May Reed out as well. So they are both confirmed out of this race, unfortunately. Uh, so hopefully we'll see them a little bit later on for their final, uh, which will take place very, very soon. It's not going to be too long. Still un uh, well, it is changed at the top four. Uh, we've got Lucas Howell in third and uh, Logan Bennett fourth. Lots of moves being made up in the uh, midfield. Two different ways of saying it. Uh, so 33 in the middle of that one. Uh, that is uh, Will Swales. There's your top ten. Right, let's carry on through this race. Down and down the ins nearly are down the inside. Uh, 42 nearly going down the inside of the 33. Emily Cotty on Will Swales. One and a half minutes left. So 34, 5, 1 set by Joshua Wickham. That's your fastest lap. Oh, Rufus Flan up into eighth. Harry Gilbert's down to ninth. our 18th, 19th, 20th and 21st position drivers. Right, side by side coming out of the exit of the hairpin and into the horse, here we go, the 42. Nearly looking on to the 12 there. Jack West, Daniel Clyde and Lucas Holloway, top three. <laughs> 40 seconds left of this race now. 26 ahead of the 20 still. Levi Sanger on Rufus Flan. That's where your battle is lying at the moment. 73 catching up to Logan Bennett in the 15. That's Joshua Withcombe catching. So coming up towards the top end we go for that battle. So going Will around Swally's Billy's. Down to 15th. Around Billy's, the uh, 20 of uh, Rufus Flan, really trying to look for a gap to get ahead. But uh, meanwhile, we'll be going to where uh, our leader is, the 92, Jack West. Uh, we're on to the last lap of this uh, race now. He's catching up with uh, one of our back markers. That looks like the 36, Vlad Tomincha. And lots of side-by-sides going into the S's there. 20 ahead of the 26 now and the 12 ahead of the 14. <laughs> uh, so coming down the main street then and taking the checker flag. Is Jack West in second. Daniel Tribe in third, Lucas Howell in fourth, Joshua Whitcomb in fifth, Logan Bennett sixth, Jarek Matters seventh, Rufus Flan eighth, Harry Gilbert ninth, Charlie Cox tenth, Arthur Facker eleventh, Levi Sanghera in twelfth, Emily Cotty in thirteenth, Jasmine Taylor fourteenth, Will Swallies fifteenth, Matthew Turner. 
Aiden Clark, 17th Ellis Snow, 18th Maxim Smith, 19th Frank Ward, 20th Kat Carthy, in 21st Zach, in 22nd Vlad, 23rd Danny May, in 24th Billy Duke. And that's your order for the junior road tax there. Uh, right, we're on to the senior, senior road tax football. next. Uh, we've just got a couple of recoveries to do, and then we should be underway. So just waiting on a couple of them to uh, get over the thing. Oh, never mind. They're coming on out. So here we go for the senior road tax for their... <laughs> so let's get ready for the senior road tax heat number three. In first, Alpha Davy. Second, Bertie Wellesley. Third, Jamie. Fourth, Daniel. Fifth, Jack. 6th Amelia, 7th Dan, 8th Finn Smith, 9th Samuel, Sammy, I don't know how to say his name, 10th Evie, 11th Rosie, 12th Ludwig, 13th Jamie, 14th Aiden, 15th Patrick Williams, and in 16th Leo Purchase, there we go, alright let's get going for this race and so coming down the main straight are we going to get going straight away and we are <laughs> no <laughs> we're underway for this race <laughs> uh, let's see how this one goes throughout the course of this one the 74 straight into the lead out in front let's see who will come out on top of where at the end of this lap in the opening lap of this third heat today So to the top bend and down the main straight we come. Let's give you an order for the senior road tax. So it is Alfie Davis followed by Bertie Wellesley, the birthday boy. Uh, Jamie Bradfield in third, Jack Maidman fourth, Daniel Fears fifth, Amelia Nelson sixth uh, in seventh, uh, Dan Burt, Leo Purchase eighth, Lynn Finn Smith in ninth, and then Samuel Cook in tenth. That could have changed though. So towards the top bend we go. Down the main straight. So the 74 still leading the way. The 48 of Bertie Wellesley. Like I said, the birthday boy. Hopefully he's having a good day on his birthday. Uh, through the S's down the back straight we go. Uh, Jack Maven slowly creeping up behind though. And then uh, Jamie Bradfield in fourth. don't have Kirk at the moment, he's uh, nipped to the loo, <laughs> so it's all me. Hopefully you guys are enjoying a bit of uh, Kirk's uh, commentary. Uh, he couldn't race this weekend, so uh, I invited him up. So yeah, something a little bit different. 
So still going around for this race. We've got a dart down the inside by the 19 onto the 18 by the looks of it. Uh, making up another position. That's uh, Finn Smith there. Uh, as always, finding some sort of gap from somewhere. Uh, meanwhile, Amelia Nelson, the number 21, in the midst of a big pack of six. Uh, going down the main straights, we go. As a wild Kirk appears in the commentary box again. Uh, so through the S's, down the Sturmy straight we go. So around at Law. Hairpin we go, and he said horseshoe again. Uh, into the horseshoe, down the inside, the 19 on the 66. So Finn Smith ahead of Jamie Bradfield now. Finn with some pace once again. Alfie Davis with the fastest lap time, 34.06. Quick time by Alfie there at the start of this race. is gap 1.65 from him at his second position. A little bit further up. Is that Finn Smith making another move up? He has. Ben Smith already straight onto Daniel Beards and uh, changing that position once again. He'll be on to third in no time at this rate. Already up in fourth. So towards the top bend we go. Finn Smith in fourth, Daniel Beards fifth, uh, Millie Nelson up into sixth, and Leo Purchase up into seventh. So a double overtake by those two. Watching uh, they both go through the S's down the back straight. The 21 right on the back of uh, Mr. Beards. Uh, through the hairpin towards the horseshoe. Around the horseshoe we go. And uh, then towards Buttons, a.k.a. the right-hander. And then the top bend. Twenty-one darting down the inside of Phillies. Emilia Nelson making a move on Daniel Beards, and as such, has made it up another position. A very ex beautifully executed move there, and timed by uh, Emilia Nelson there. So getting around the hairpin towards Finn the Smith horseshoe. Trying to catch up with 48. He's slowly catching, but so is Emilia Nelson and the two behind her. So around the top bend, down the main straight we go for those drivers. Alfie Davis still with the best lap of 34.04. And contact warning for Samuel Cook. So still flying through this race. We still have, how long left? That uh, is three minutes left. Finn the Smith al almost catches 45. But the 21 is also catching Finn Smith, so. Let's see how this plays out. Oh, the 71 right on the rear there of the 68, almost uh, forcing a uh, opportunity then. Showing some pace so far. As uh, coming down the main straight, she comes. She is catching up with Finn very, very quickly. Uh, so, still plenty of time in this race to try something out. Daniel Beers down into seventh. Uh, Jamie Bradfield down to ninth. So, two other overtakes. A bit slow going into Billy's was uh, a driver that's been overtaken by three. That's a 96 there. One uh, minute and 50 seconds left off this race. There's your time update there. Finn Smith slowly is catching to Bertie Wellesley in the third position. We'll see if Amelia Nelson will be able to join that party very soon. Can Finn overtake him before the last? So jumping over the S's goes Amelia Nelson, number 21, catching up to Finn. We'll see how that gap changes through the rest of this race. Still nothing changed from the rest of the pack. Meanwhile, Alfie Davis is about 2.97 seconds uh, ahead of the rest of the field. It's too wide, and we've had a little, <laughs> little tussle up there. T one driver slow, 
And uh, Patrick Williams will hog straight through. And we got a retiree, unfortunately, uh, from that little uh, stoppage from those. Yeah. As the 96 of Samuel Cook. And Dan Burt in the pits. And we also have one in the pits as well. So it's two drivers out of this race at the closing stages. Thirty seconds left of this race to go. And will the birthday boy be able to defend Finn Smith off? Not long left on this race. Through the S's, down the back straight we go. AKA Sermi straight. Twenty one starting to have a perfect view of this uh, battle ahead of her. Contact warning for Dan Burt. And Finn Smith is almost past Bertie. He and is Finn indeed. Smith is past. Yep, through the right-hander towards the top bend now. And we'll see that change on the alpha timing screens very shortly. Last lap board up. And we are on the last lap indeed. Uh, so, Amelia Nelson right on the back of this pack as well, right behind Bertie Wellesley. So through the S's. That's 56, gets past six. And uh, Amelia Nelson's ahead of the birthday boy of Bertie Wellesley. So Finn another Sloan change there. Number 17. Nevertheless, going to the top end and down the main straight. Ladies and gentlemen, check a flag. It's Alfie Davies. First place, Alfie Davies. Second place, Jack Maiden. Third place, Finn. Fourth place, Amelia. Fifth place, Bertie. Sixth place, Leo. Seventh place, Evie. Eighth place, Daniel Beer. Ninth place, Jamie. Tenth place, Patrick Williams. Eleventh, Ludwig. Twelfth, Aiden. Oh no. Eleventh, Aiden. Twelfth is Rosie Armstrong. That's all changing here. There we go, that is your order for all of you there. And, but that's only because... Number... <laughs> <laughs> and we've had one uh, stop um, just after post three out of the exit of the horseshoe. Number 92, Park has broken so down. Ludwig, unfortunately, not actually finishing that race, unfortunately. Uh, top novice Patrick Williams with Hogg and fastest lap goes to Amelia Nelson. Not surprised to be honest. Thirty three nine four. Yeah. <laughs> I got I got a high five then. Yay! Well, it's the one seven sevens. And also a contact warning for Ludwig. <laughs> Possibly. Right, we'll be back very shortly. Here and they now come. we have the 177 mass. And all the 177. <laughs> we got them both. Yeah. yeah. Formation lap. Bit of skidding around the corners. Warming, warming their Maxxis Sport tyres. For those who didn't know, they're on the old sporties. So let's see how we go for this race then. Eight minutes and then uh, soon to be finals. First place, Finn Smith. Second place, Amelia Nelson. Third place, Alfie Davies. Fourth place, Ben Johnson. Fifth place, Josh Philo. Sixth, Derek Hunt. 
Seventh, Ian Hardy. Eighth, Anne Waugh, Beryl Lee. Smith. Ninth, Ian Brandon. And that could all change already. So we are underway for the 177 and 177 Masters hit race. Heat three, if that made sense. Uh, we've got number 54, number 64, looking for overtake on number 15. Early on in this race, indeed. Uh, we've had a spinner of the 17 at Billy's to the start of this race. 61, looking for overtakes on 64 now. Trying to catch up back up with the pack. And coming down the main straight. <laughs> so Jason Bear, Cameron Marston, Ben Johnson, Harrison Crook, Josh Poulain, Ian Branfield, then Anwar Beryl Smith. That's the first time I actually said his name properly. Through the S's, down the back straight, aka the Sturmy Stunt. <laughs> uh, side by side in the pin. It's yeah, still side by side. That's first and second, 64 and 50. Cameron Marston and Jason Bear. 64 now up in third place. Uh, and as they go to the top bend down the main straight. And that is the start of that race already underway. 72 looking for overtakes on Ben Johnson. Pulled away a little bit. The 72 of Harrison Crook really trying to force a gap out there on the circuit. So let's see how this one plays out over the next few uh, minutes. The Stays behind at the horseshoe for the minute. And up to the top bend. Down the main Down straight the main we straight. come. <laughs> Heading to Biddy's block. Down the inside goes the 72. On that Almost 61. spinning out, 72. Very close between those two. Into the S's. Is he going to try it on the next one? Number 50 trying to put a gap. No, number, <laughs> <laughs> number 64 trying to put a gap to 50. So to the top bend. So Cameron Marston, Jason Bear, Ben Johnson, Harrison Crook, Ian Branfield, your top five. A big battle's going on from second downward. 64, trying to put a gap between 52. Over a second, that gap at the moment. Can he make it through 52? Ooh, we'll find out. Uh, top end, down the main straight we go. Dan Milner, 35-83. Currently 10th at the moment, so he's charging towards the rest of the grid. God, it's tight between second, third, fourth. Oh, and we have a uh, bit of a broken bumper on the 61. That bumper is hanging off a little bit. The mechanical flag is out for uh, Ben Johnson, unfortunately. So into the SSN 72 with a little bit of a late move that was sort of to be expected in a way and uh, has caused him to go right to the back of the grid unfortunately but uh, so I should go into the pits that has changed that one up massively so Cameron Marston, Jason Bear 72 now in ninth. yeah he's gone down to ninth position to catch up with the rest of the grid Pulling in a gap from 50. He's still pulling. Uh, that is now two seconds, by the way. 43 trying to overtake Jason Beer. Let's see how this plays out over the next few corners or so. Or let me just say straight. As uh, into Billy's, he's already ahead. And the fastest lap is by Ian Branfield, a 35-51. Harrison Crook. Saw that earlier incident uh, in that race. Uh, still flying on through though. To top bend is our leader, Cameron Marston. Uh, we're probably going to near three seconds for a gap between first and second place. Three minutes and ten seconds left of 
this race. Still plenty of time to go as we charge on down into Billy's. 43 now up into second as Fisher goes down to third. Yep, good spotting. Uh, meanwhile, the 22-33. Uh, uh, Derek Hunt and Josh Poulain going into the hairpin. Um, looks like the 22 is past 33. And the 46 is also past the 33 as well. So and number 17 is trying to catch up with 33. So let's see how this changes on the screen very shortly. So Cameron Marston, Anwar Smith, Jason Bear, Derek Hunt, Ian Branfield, Josh Poulain. Dan Milner, Harrison Crook, and Ian Hardy. Your uh, nine runners in this race. Number 33 trying to catch back up with the people that overtook him as he goes wide on the... Uh, 33 going really wide out there. Has he got a problem with his cart, potentially? As he's uh, very slow and looks like he will be darting into the pits, unfortunately for him. Uh, so hopefully we'll be back during the finals uh, yeah, later on. Is now with eight. Ben Johnson in the pits and Josh Poulin in the pits too. So eight runners left in this race. So a minute and a half left. Let's see how this changes the rest of the race. Uh, obviously, like I said, we lost two drivers so far in this race. Uh, so let's see how this plans out. It's the battle for third at the moment, going around. 43 trying to catch up with 54. All darting down the inside, two drivers on one. And uh, now out ahead. So 22 and 46 and 50 are having a big battle. 50 down from the, uh, was in third and overtaken by the two drivers in front. So that will change on your screens very, very shortly. So down the main straight we come. Pass this lap is 43 with a 35.48. So the track changing quite quickly at the closing stages of this race <laughs> and uh, 30 seconds left on the clock. around the horseshoe, the right hander, and then we should be getting ready for another lap. We're gonna even squeeze out an additional lap with only 10 seconds left. So we're leading towards the last lap now of this race. Uh, not long left to go. So let's see if we will get any last lap overtakes. Uh, so coming down the main straight then, it's the 64 followed by the 43. Ian Brownfield, Derek Hunt, Jason Bear, that's still unchanged. 17 was looking for a move then, but stays behind for now. Uh, through the S's, down the back straight, so aka the Sturmy straight. Forty-three has ca caught up with sixty-four by a lot, and it's now a zero-point-four-six gap. So, is that going to be close enough for this finish? So, taking the check flag then is sixty-four in first, second, forty-three, third, Ian, fourth, Derek, fifth, Jason, Beer, sixth, Dan, seventh, Harrison, eighth. Ian Harvey. In ninth. Poulan in tenth. And there we go. That is the heats all complete. And we will be back. Right, so we shall play some music because I believe it is now time for lunch.
Yeah, well, we shall see you all in uh, a few minutes time whilst I'll leave you with the uh, footage of the, the uh, break. So we'll see you all very soon.
Ladies and gentlemen, they'll be getting away shortly. Um, <laughs> so uh, I will keep the music on in the background, though, because uh, I'm not sure how long it's going to be till. Sorry, we can hear ourselves through downstairs. Uh, we'll be underway shortly, so we'll put some music on in the background. Um, but yeah, finals time. What will we see a bit later on? Will we see for Hondos? <laughs> Luke Nicholl, Paul, Ethan Cousin, second, Charlie White, third, Callum Gardner, fourth, Ralphie Bramscon, fifth, Nikita Hoff, sixth, Zach Onshaw, seventh, Dewey Hockridge, eighth, ninth, George Finley, first place, tenth, Stephen Cooperland, That will be starting shortly, hopefully. Uh, just waiting for everyone to grin up down a little bit. Oh, that would be great. Very quiet in here all of a sudden. I feel like a turn off the fan. Get the outside mic on as well for you all at home. So who's excited? If you are excited for the finals, uh, pop yourself down into the YouTube chats. And then uh, hopefully we'll be on the way soon. As they come out the pits now, Luke Nicole, Ethan Cousins, Charlie White, Callum Gardner, Ralph, Ralph, Zach, and 
Peter Roberts, Dewey Hopbridge, Finley Firstfield, Ethan Peterin and Tommy Morris. Triple T says, give it full beans of Finley Firstfield. So here we go then, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready for the Honda and Rotax Cadet final for round number three. We're on to our last five races of today. We had some uh, comments from uh, Triple T on the YouTube channel saying give it full bean beans at Finney First Field. Uh, we've got, come on, Ethan Cousins, number 17 in the Honda Cadet. As they come to the top bend, let's get ready. False start. Let's get going, and we are going straight away for the first final here for round number three. So all into biddies we go. 12 minutes plus a lap, so lots of time to be careful out there. So down the back straight we go, towards the hairpin. Ethan Cousins looking for overtakes. And a couple of spins at the hairpin. Some better eyesight than me <laughs> as they are going on around the horseshoe there. So, to the top end, we'll get you a running order for this one. Luke McCall, Ethan Cousins, Ralphie, Charlie White, Callum Gardner, Dewey, Zach Henshaw, Ethan Peatlin, Finley Firstfield, Tommy Morris, and Nikita Roberts in 11. And that is your 11 for 11 minutes left on the clock as well. Nikita Roberts catching up with 79. As they come around the horseshoe, heading up to the top bend. As we get around the right uh, top bend and down the main straight, we go for our next lap here for this race. So it's the 15 and 17 very close together between the two. A swap for Charlie White up into third. Ralphie uh, Branscombe in fourth. 26 past 96. So that's me corrected. Callum Gardner up into fourth then uh, with Ralphie Branscombe down to fifth. Uh, could it change once again? And it looks like it might do. Uh, going into the hairpin and then to the horseshoe as well. As it changed back round again, it's a 26 and a 96. So it's staying where it was earlier. We come round the top straight. Down into the finish line. Still looking for overtakes. Top two very close together. And uh, especially in these early stages of this race as well. We've got loads of time to go. Nikita Roberts looking for an overtake on number 79. Catching up to uh, Tommy Morris there. One of our uh, novice drivers. She goes down on the inside line. And uh, overtakes Tommy Morris at the hairpin there. Luke McCall coming around the top corner down the pit straight. And uh, still 15 and 17 unchanged. The lap times are very close together. 0.09 gap. So it's still feeding through this race, and it's uh, potentially going to change between the top two. At the moment, it's not, though. Nikita Roberts trying to catch up with 72. She's charging. Meanwhile, the midfield is spread out evenly, so it's really keeping an eye on that uh, 63. And then our top two here. Luke McCall trying to pull a gap from Ethan Cousins. We'll see if that changes soon. Their lap time is very close. Uh, 41.05 from Luke McGall and a 41.09 from Ethan Cousins. So nothing at all really between the two drivers. Nikita Roberts still looking for an overtake on number 72. So 
So down the main straight. And that's still Luke McGraw, Ethan Cousins. And then Charlie White, Glenn Gardner, then Ruffy Bradskin. This is down the back straight. And in towards the hairpin we go. The 63 ahead of the 72 now as well. Keith Roberts making up some places. So around the horseshoe and then towards the right hander. Number 12 trying to catch up with Ethan Cousins. As they come down the pit straight. Is a 0.8. Charlie White is 2.6 seconds behind second position. That's a little bit of a waiting game for them as long as he plays the clean. We've got one stuck down at the hairpin. So he's wedged on the half the track and half the uh, grass. Fast as that time on a 40.99. Uh, the 79 gets uh, recovered. Back up and running again, uh, a couple of laps down though. As we now reach the halfway point of this race. So coming to the top end then, uh, we've got Tommy Morris and then uh, we've got the front pack drivers of the 15 and 17 so they're going into Billy's now. Alfred says Ethan is going to, Ethan is going to win this race. Ooh, we shall see as uh, we still have five and a half minutes or so left to go. Uh, Tommy Morris being overtaken on both sides going down Sterling straight. Samuel Matthews says last lap Ethan Cosden makes his move. Uh, thinking emoji, we shall see. Uh, once again, a loads of time left to go in this race, and uh, quite a few comments coming into the YouTube live stream. So, uh, if you're wondering where we're saying these bits, Charlie White, then McCallum Gardner, uh, then we go for Ralphie Branscombe, and then Dewey. Uh, In horseshoe combination, we go to the right hander and then uh, towards the top end once more. They have four and a half minutes left of this race now. So we're firmly planted into this heat for these drivers. The lap time between Luke McGraw and Ethan Cousins is 0.01. Uh, so Ethan Cousins with a fast lap on 40.92, and then Luke McGraw with a 40.93. So uh, we shall see how this plays out over the course of the next four minutes or so. As uh, they're going up towards the top end and down the main straight we come. Support for Ethan Cousins at this stage of the race. And as they're going through the S's now and towards the back straight, we go. Uh, meanwhile, another place on the grid, we uh, pretty much staying where we are. Ethan Copeland up ahead. Uh, that battle for eighth is soon to come between the two, and the two that are out front still having uh, their play. Uh, 
slight suspicion that uh, these two are going to stay where they are and stay put for this last half of this race. Nearly five seconds to catch up to the front two. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Nikita Roberts is really battling for that position. As, uh, she's going around the next few corners. Uh, she's around the horseshoe at the moment. And uh, going into the right-hander. So, uh, from her to the left. Back to the front runners as there is a slight gap between the two. Runners. This could be like this till the end. We still have a minute and 21 seconds left on the clock of this 12 uh, minute plus a lap uh, final that we are uh, treated with uh, this round. But, uh, all classes getting that one as well. It's going to be pretty busy for the juniors, that's for sure, uh, later on today. very patiently behind Luke McGall. Luke McGall not taking to the pressure behind him. Both drivers pretty much taking the same similar lines. Yeah, I'm surprised I'll say going round. Right. This could be a last lap battle. Through the S's. Back straight for them. Charlie. 17 looking for a move. Has the inside line at Billy's. And has got ahead, but it's switched back a roof. And uh, back at the S's, it's going back to how it was. So Luke will go back up into that front position. We still have two seconds left on the clock. going to be going on to the last lap of this race. It's going to be close, so get ready, ladies and gentlemen, as we are going to be side by side for the last lap. So here we go. Into Billy's, using a more defensive line, goes to 15. Around that Billy's we go. Through goes the 17 though, going through the S's and down the back of the straight, so we've got a change for the lead. And that has been brewing for a long time, but going down in the inside again, it looks really close there. As we go around the hairpin towards the horseshoe. 15 trying to dart for that inside line at the final closing stage for the right hander now. As Ethan Cosmo stops. That's slight, but is it going to be enough as they come down the main straight? He did it on the last lap. Taking the checker flag is Ethan Cosins, followed very closely by Luke McGall. those of you in the chat you were correct on that one uh, and that is the results for the Honda and Rocats Cadet final so well done to all drivers there right we go to Intermax next that is our next ones to fly to the grid uh, and indeed some great racing there between the two of them stayed focused for the whole 12 minutes 
think I'll lose focus after six. Amazing job, Ethan. Keep calling him out. Amazing job, Ethan. There we go. Right, let's take a look at the grid then for the Intermax. They'll be out next. Uh, so there's the uh, grid for the Intermax very quickly. There are only six drivers. So <laughs> Jake Davis, Devin Taylor, Spencer Trahorn, and Ian Downing. He got it right in the end. <laughs> hey. Lovely. Let's see how these Intermaxes go for this race. So around the horseshoe. To the right hander we go and we shall get ready for the Intermax for their final for this race. Heat three. Uh, heat three? What am I on about? Final on round three. So from the top bend we go down the main straight. And we are underway straight away once again for the Intermax in their final. So around the biddies we go through the asses and uh, down the back straight we go. Top two side by side for the second through the right uh, the horseshoe we go to the right hander. That looks like it's a uh, battle between Rook Thompson and I think that is Ava Morris in that list as well. So coming down the main straight and uh, I was correct, it's 11 followed by the 32, then the 67, uh, then the 41, 14, and 26. That is your lineup for the first opening lap. Fastest lap, Rook Thompson with 31.72. Opening up with a strong lap there. So, around the hairpin we go. To the horseshoe. Maybe Morris with some incredible pace there, going through the horseshoe there. Uh, caught right up to Rook Thompson's rear end. So he to the top bend. Gap down the straight. He tries. Will he succeed? Coming down the main straight then. So through the S's down at Sturmy Straight. So we go through for another lap. Forty-one looking for an overtake from sixty-seven. They go up to the top bend, now down to the, now the pit straight. And down the back straight we go, so it looks like our top two starting to lead away from the rest of the grid. We've got third, fourth, fifth and sixth relatively close. Some people reckoning Jenkins and Davis will win this race, and some others reckoning uh, Ava Morris is going to win this race. Uh, so let's see. Uh, very early on, uh, people decide on who they think will win. Who do you reckon is going to win? Comment in the YouTube comments and uh, let us know. A lot of curve. Using a lot of curb there, that's allowed the rest. Rook Thompson pulling away from. With a one second gap. Spencer Trahorn up into third after that battle, and Devin Taylor up to fourth. Uh, Jacob Davis down to fifth, and Keenan Down is staying at the back in sixth position for the S's. Spencer trying to keep up with Eva Morris. Very 
speedy Ava Morris as well. Brooke Thompson, uh, 37.83. Ava Morris uh, only, to, only doing a 38.22. So we'll see how this plays out. Down uh, up to fifth, uh, Jacob Davis down to sixth. Uh, so that gap between Rook Thompson, uh, Thompson and Ava Morris is 1.46. So uh, Rook Thompson with some uh, mid uh, race uh, power going through here, keeping that pace nice and high. Let's see what the rest of the field does over the course of the next seven minutes and 42 seconds. Close between our back to the 67 and 26, Jacob Davison, uh, Kian Downer. As we go around the horseshoe and uh, through to the right hander, we go. Uh, meanwhile, our leader, number 11, bit 40, of a margin. 40. at the moment, doing 38s whilst uh, Spencer Trail in the 37s. Uh, speaking of 37, well, the second lap time is what's with the fastest lap time of the 37.72. Uh, uh, set on lap number nine, so it's the last lap that we just had. Number 11 comes down the pit straight. Showing off that pace real quick there. Dave Morris going to be able to keep up with this pace. She's done a personal best for herself. Driver behind is quicker by about three tenths. So let's see how this plays out. Is the can he close the gap even more? Yeah, can we see if he closes the gap? Meanwhile, at the back, the two swapping over once again. Uh, Jacob Davis and Kian Downer. Number eleven comes down the pit straight. It's going to be catching right up to Ava Morris's rear bumper very soon, in a couple of corners' time. Like I said, Ava Morris with not as much pace as the other drivers surrounding her at the moment. Uh, so down the main straight, they come from the top end downwards. Number 11, flying. Rick Thompson is pretty much gone. The 41 is already on the back of the 32 now. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on this going through the S's. Touching bumper. Close between the two. Around the hairpin towards the horseshoe. And, uh, will we see a move from the 41 anytime soon? Going to the right hander next. I do take her on the straight. Let's find out very soon. So down the main straight we come. The 32 is still ahead at the moment, but the 41 right behind. Stays behind going into Billy's. Thirty-two with a bit of a tighter line into Billy's as well, defending off a uh, inside opening. Through the S's, down the back straight. 
Kiva even having a quick little peek around her shoulder, see where about Spencer Trayvon is. Unfortunately, he is right behind you. Uh, so around the horse, here we go, to the right-hander, and then towards the top bend we go. Three minutes, 15 on the clock. Very close still. And down the back straight, he's gone for the right hand side. Ava Morris has left it open, and as such, has got ahead now. Will she be able to go claw him back for that position? Around the horseshoe towards the right hander. Unfortunately, it is a no. So Spencer Trehorn up into second, and Ava Morris down into third. So she'll be able to get back to that position uh, anytime soon. So around Billy Zago and through the S's next. Two minutes and eight seconds left on the clock. Uh, the six drivers out there, not too much happening from the rest of the grid. Uh, so we will be keeping an eye on this battle between the 41 and the 32. Kia Downer has uh, got away from Jacob Davis uh, during the race as well. Fast at that time still goes to Rook Thompson with that 37 6 4. Seconds is the gap. That's a lot. But he's on it 13 on the clock because uh, Alpha changes it very suddenly. Uh, Ava Morris doing her personal best, matching the personal best of uh, Spencer Trehorn of 37.99. Finding some end race pace from Ava Morris here. go for the right hander towards the top bend. Spencer Trayhorn trying to make a gap. Trying to his best too. Ava Morris is trying to cling on as best she can. Nearly 0.03 of the difference in the lap time there between the two of them. 20 seconds left. So I believe the next time we'll see Rook Thompson that will be going for uh, the last lap board. So there is only two laps remaining before this race. So uh, around the horse, here we go for uh, Ava Morris and Spencer Trayhorn. And down the main straight we go. I think we're actually possibly. Uh, we'll go for the last lap next. Uh, so last lap, this is the final one. Uh, Rick Thompson walking away with it fairly early on in this race. And uh, now it's all down to Spencer Trayhorn to see if the two will change positions back to there. She's trying an opportunity here through the hairpin. This is last lap drama here through the horseshoe. Meanwhile, we'll have to take our eyes off of that for the minute and take to our winner for this one. Uh, taking the checkered flag and winning the uh, Intermax final, it's Roke Thompson. And then in sixth, there's uh, Jacob Davis there. Uh. <laughs> Lovely, so there we go. That is the Intermax final. Well done to all those drivers there. And uh, we'll be in for the Euro Tax very, very shortly. So let's grab the grid up onto the YouTube live stream for you all. all right, so there it is on the screen. 
好嘢。Yeah, Spencer Trayon with a very hard fought uh, second place there. Eh? Look at them flooding out. Oh, we've had a spinner. We've had a spinner at the top. Oh, oh my god, my voice is gone. <laughs> the last one for take four. So here we go then, ladies and gentlemen, for the formation lap for the Junior Road Tax. We had a couple of spinners at the start of this, uh, well, a lot of spinners for the start of this formation lap. So uh, I believe we will be going round again uh, before this race even begins. So uh, let's get going for. Uh, let's get going for this one. Uh, so we will be going back round again. Back round we go for the Junior Rotax final. Get these all gridded up uh, very once and truly. So around the horseshoe we go. the top end then let's see if we are good first time round so coming down the main straight then and let's get underway with the biggest final for round three it's the junior attack if any of that has changed since the start. So coming down the main straight then, it's been relatively clean going through. So it is Jack West, Daniel Tribe, Joshua Withcombe, Lucas Howe, Jarek Messers. A lot of changes from sixth downwards So Logan Bennett in sixth, Arthur Thacker seventh. Uh, we've got Jasmine Taylor eighth, Emily Cotty ninth, Harry Gilbert tenth. So getting too close between those two. Uh, so around the horseshoe we go. So it's still wait. So let's see how this goes uh, as we still fly through. Uh, so our leader is still unchanged, and so is second and third. Uh, yeah, so down the back straight goes uh, the 42. Uh, oh, oh Emily Cossey. So find the name on the uh, Alpha Diamond screens, uh, visible from around the whole entire building of uh, Grey Pigeons. Lovely book. That made sense. Uh, right down the main straight then, and uh, we get going for another lap of this race. Uh, fast lap time is by our leader, Jack West, 35.03, just set. Group is flying up into 10. They uh, got positions from uh, during that lap. Did not see that one. Stand and try, trying to keep up with Jack West. 0.66 is the gap, so let's see how it can happen. Uh, meanwhile, a little bit down at the horseshoe, uh, the 33 and 26 are trying to both make overtakes. I think they've all both gone up one position at the least. Uh, so let's see how that changes. 33 needing a little pack for. Uh, the midfield, uh, 13th downwards, it has all stayed on the Alpine screen. Uh, so it's all claiming back their positions that they had uh, when they were able to start finish line previously. He has done indeed, and uh, Joshua Wickham behind, uh, catching up fast that time with 34 8 1. So some early changes going with over nine minutes still left on the race clock. 
number 73 looking for an overtake on Tran Daniel Tribe. He's waiting very patiently going down into the hairpin. Now to the horseshoes, very close between the two now. Daniel tries to make a gap on the top corner. Changes between the two. Let's see if we've got any other changes on the rest of the grid. The top 12 unchanged. And the same again from 13 downwards. So uh, still a waiting game for the rest of these drivers here. Uh, 23 altogether on circuit. Jack West still at the back. Nobody else has got into the 34 7s yet. It's only our top five that have uh, pushed to the 34s so far. Daniel Tribe trying to make a gap between Joshua Whitcock. Brian does have a very fast praying Lucas Howell behind. 34.67 now is the fastest lap time to beat. And, uh, contact warning given to the uh, driver in 22nd. Carthy Cometa down into the uh, third position slot in this race. Try and mention everyone as we can as uh, we go through this final. Seven minutes twenty on the clock. The gap between Jack West and Daniel Tribe nearing a second. Doesn't look like much on track, but uh, it is in reality of timing. So second, third, and fourth closing the gaps between one another. Seventeen three trying to look for the eight. top bend. And that is still unchanged for the minute. 73 close, that gap right at Billy's. Through the S's, down the back straight, still unchanged. Lucas Howe with a very clear view of this race as well. So it is all really heating up up there. So the is down the back straight, the 73. And it's still changing between them all. And it's got like the yellow flag down at post six, that's the top bend. Tension for the minute. trying to attack Daniel Tribe at the same time and uh, Jack West just keeps 1.4 second lead so I wonder if they'll all play it smart uh, 
and uh, catch up to the first position driver, or will they just go for positions instead? Obviously, every position out on track there will equal to points out on circuit for the championship. Again, our car team, Jack West, will be the one of the winner of this race. We shall find out still 3 minutes 39 on the clock. Seven, three for Slan, eight is an enemy cotton ninth. That's all changed in that little region there. 73 defending off the 19 heavily. We've got some contact warnings. Contact warning for Emily Cotton and Danny May. A while, nearly a two second gap now where there's been a lot of defensive work going on from the drivers. Two minutes and 20 seconds left of this race. Been non stop action from our front grid and for the rest of the grid as well. Uh, not forgetting that those at the back, 36 31, uh, Vlad Tomanchuk, Aiden Clark, and uh, Karthik Kometa. Uh, we've only lost two drivers so far in this race, and Zach Fontenay and Logan Bennett. Lost uh, Zach Fontenay's three laps go. Uh, Logan Bennett eight laps ago. 17 laps completed in this race. And uh, Jack West still leading it by a healthy two. We have one minute, four seconds left in this race. So it is go time for most of these drivers as well. Coming down the main straight then. Here's our uh, midfield. And then joined with our front field, Jack West here. Uh, who is catching up with some of our back markers, so we might see. Good spot in there, it's very close still. Uh, uh, as I was saying, we're possibly not going to see some blue flags emerge on the circuit. Uh, another contact warning, this time coming to Will Swales, number uh, 33 in 12th position. And, uh, we go through. Make a gap. So blue flags are out for our back markers here. That is uh, the 3195 and 36 in reverse order. So uh, Jack West actually flying through to this grid. And then a big boo boo there. <laughs> I don't know why I said boo boo, but there we are. Uh, through the right-hander towards the top end we go. Uh, 28 seconds. What have they... Uh, Final time. Between him and 73. It's close. Very close. Still easy are Very defensive. Nearly parking the bus. Through the S's. Stermy straight. And I am not surprised. Here we go, more blue flags showing for uh, second onwards now. So we can try and get those through. As uh, we are now leading up to what is the last lap of this race. Here we go. This is action time. He's still in the way. I see where he is on circuit. As a lot of mixed grids going through there. But going to the top end, then, ladies and gentlemen, what is going to be the checker flag for a good win for Jack West. In second place, Daniel Choi. In third, Joshua Whitcomb. Fourth, Lucas Hall. Fifth, Jarrett.
Strike Metals. Uh, it's Logan Bennett, our two uh, DNFers at the back there. So that is the Junior Rotax grid complete. Uh, let's go for our uh, Senior Rotax. Uh, 15 drivers once again. Uh, so let's see how this one goes very soon. Let's take the grid up for you all on the YouTube live stream. Who do you reckon is going to win for the Senior Rotax? We're going for a... Uh, Poll for every single one at the moment. Some brilliant racing from the Junior Rotax there, as always. Seni hours. Okay, we're here for the Seni hours. <laughs> So here we go then, ladies and gentlemen, it's the Senior Rotax final, the penultimate final for round number three. So we're nearing the end of the day really quickly. Finn Smith in first, Lee Nelson in second, Evie Poulin in third, Jack Maiden in fourth, Alfred Davis in fifth, Bertie Wel Wellesley in sixth. The birthday boy. Seventh, Daniel. Eighth, Jamie. Ninth, Dan. Tenth, Leo. Eleventh, Rosie. 12th, Ludwig, 13th, Aiden, 14th, Patrick, and 15th, Samuel Cook. So let's get ready for uh, <laughs> for this uh, heat air final from the senior Rotax. As, uh, they slowly come as they slowly come around the top corner, and I don't interrupt the Tano once again. Ha ha! Uh, here we go. Coming down the main straight then. We have. We're good to go. So here we are then. Let's go. Smith pulls a gap between them. So the number 19 going already down the back straight here. So round towards the top bend neck. Finn Smith losing everybody. Finn Smith just, he's gone, he's going. Uh, it's Finn Smith, followed by Evie Pullen, then it's Jack Neyman, then Amelia Nelson, then Alfie Davies, then Leo Purchase, then Ludwig Beresford in seventh. The birthday boy of Bertie Wellesley in eighth, Daniel Beers in ninth, and then Dan Burt uh, rounds out your top ten. So let's see how this plays out going through this race. So through the horseshoe we go for a speedy number 19. Where he gets his pace from, I have no idea. Uh, from the top end and down the main straight then. This one down the inside, the 74 and the 71. Uh, so that's just retaining his position there. Finn Smith already around the top corner, going down the straight now. I wonder if that gap is near in a second yet. We shall find out. Going down the main straight. Fast lap, Finn Smith. Okay, two tenths faster than the rest of the grid at the moment. So I say at the moment. There's the rest of them. Side by side at the exit of the horseshoe for the 21. We've had a bit of contact and there's two stops 
in the middle there. That's the 17. Can't see the other one. They're both trying to get off of one another's carts. So down the main straight we go. So Finn Smith, Evie Pullane, then it's Amelia Nelson up to the top three. That's a panel on the 17 in a completely wrong position. Uh, the two that were in that one was Jack Laban and Leo Purchase. Unfortunately, the was having such a good day today as well. Hopefully we can see a uh, recovery drive from him. And it looks like uh, the 17 will be uh, retiring from this race. So unfortunately, we've had to say goodbye to Jack Naiman. We're back to Finn Smith. with some incredible pace out of nowhere now. Uh, so through the horseshoe we go. Happy <laughs> Davies up into fourth, like with Beresford down to fifth. And uh, Amelia Nelson right on the back of Evie Pillane going into the hairpin next. We shall see. So going towards the top bend. And down the main straight we come. Is the gap closing? It's not yet. It looks really close. It looks a lot closer than it looks <laughs> on timing. Alpha Davies with the fastest lap point of 33.9. Right, so the only one in the 33s. So he just crept into them for a brief moment. I've uh, just been told I'm a liar. And so is Amelia Nelson, to be fair. Hello, Michael. Then. Up to the top corner, down pit straight. That looks like an Amelia Nelson already ahead into second. And it is indeed the 21 ahead of the 56 there. So going around Billy's and towards uh, the S as we go. It's charge time for Amelia Nelson next. 1.64 the gap to completely close up in six and a half minutes. It's an impossible before and could happen again. Going into Billy's here, it's a pack of four. So yeah, it's the battle for fifth position, growing strong. Gap. 1.43. So 1.43 is what we had previously. Let's see what we get now. 1.29, the gap is closing. Amelia Nelson with some pace here, and uh, Finn uh, not with too much pace at the moment. Let's see how quick this gap closes. Dan Burt down a quite a few positions there. Uh, he's actually popped into pits, unfortunately, so that's uh, three drivers out of this race so far. Uh, Dan Burt, Leo Purchase, and Jack Maidman, unfortunately, for them. Finn so Smith coming up to the top corner. And we are down to 12 drivers. and closing another tenth off of Finn Smith now. So four minutes, 52 left to go. Contact warning for Ludwig and a contact warning for Alpha. 
From the last couple of laps, Mina Nelson dropping off a tenth a lap to Finn Smith. So we will probably see her right on the back of Finn Smith here in a few laps' time. As they have four minutes left of this race. Oh, indeed they do. Also, the 56 of Evie Pauline is still in the mixer of this. Uh, meanwhile, Finn Smith starting to catch up one of our back markers. That is Rosie Armstrong, one of our novices uh, racing out there this weekend. Definitely catching up very quickly. Ben Smith catching up to the 44. And the back marker who is uh, being shown the blue flags here. So coming down the main straight then, Finn Smith hopefully to breeze past her. The gap is now 0.80. go through once again for another lap here. Three minutes dead on the clock. Well, it was when I was saying it anyway. Finn uh, Smith So it's increased slightly, but uh, we still have uh, loads of time left up during this race. Fast as that goes to Alfie Davies in fourth position, 33.90. looks smaller. Let's see what it actually is on the timing screens. Uh, she has left Ava Pelina yeah, out the way. 0.72 gap. Closing it down quickly as they only have two minutes left of this race. Not a lot of time left but plenty of time in race perspective. So let's see. Alfie Davis still with the six. Contact warning for Samuel Cook, uh, down in sixth position. It's going to be close near the end of this race. Amelia Nelson with so much determination to catch up to Finn Smith. Look at them as they're going around the hairpin towards the horseshoe next. Lots of laps, especially when there's 12 minutes. This is a bad work from Amelia Nelson with uh, 12 minutes of a race to catch up with Finn. The, uh, 47. It's close, 47 staying nicely out of the way of the other drivers. Uh, so many thanks to him, I'm sure, what the drivers are saying. So into the hairpin we go. Alfie Davies. Forty seconds left then. She's gonna look for a move in a minute. Right on the rear end, she's going down the inside and gets ahead of Finn Smith. Amelia Nelson now taking the lead through the S's down the back straight. Is Finn gonna have enough pace to catch up with her once again? 20 seconds left on the clock. Finn Smith back pass once again. As he's come down the pitch straight, is it gonna be the last lap or are they gonna get one more lead? Oh, this is gonna be close. Four seconds left on the clock. It's last lap. Here we go. Finn, this is Finn Smith versus Amelia Nelson for the race win here. So down the back straight we go to the hairpin. 
to the horseshoe. Staying behind for the minute to the right hander and towards the top bend. This is going to be close at the final section here. So coming down the main straight, it's going to be close, but it is going to be the number 19 of Finn Smith who takes the checker flag. Finn Smith first, second place Amelia Nelson, third place Evie Poole. Birthday boy. Dan Burke, 14th, Leo Purchase, and in 15th, Jack Maven. <laughs> uh, Patrick Williams Brahag with the top novice as well for that race. Right, let's see the grid for the final final of the final. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the 177 and 177 Masters are the last race of the day. Harrison in first, Harrison Cook in second, and in third. This day is flying through today. What are you doing? <laughs> right, so. Saying some words. <laughs> uh, right, let's uh, see where we go through for this one. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, in the last final, we're going to be done bef just after four o'clock. That sounds. That sounds rare. Uh, it's been actually quite a smooth day today, thank God. Where's, a, where's Wood? Or tap wood just in case. Uh, so yeah. the Kirk Kaplan spinning grid order for you all. <laughs> We're all getting excited. It's near the end of the day. Right, so 177 and 177 Masters final then, ladies and gentlemen. The final final of the finals. I like saying that. Right, let's see what we get from uh, the 177 and 177 Masters. As they drives. come down the pit straight. We are a go. That means all finals have gone straight off. So the first 64 and second 72 and third 46. Oh, and we've had a chain guard come falling off one of the carts. Uh, so that's going to uh, unfortunately remove one driver from this race already. Unfortunately, uh, it's a very bright red chain guard. Seeing that. So around the horseshoe we go. Uh, we've had a spin up from the 22. Not sure if he was tapped from behind, uh, but we keep going 72 through. 72 in first. So coming down the main straight then. Let's uh, get your running order. Unfortunately, a mechanical flag given to the number 46 of Ian Branfield, who is in second. So, unfortunately, we will have to say goodbye to him very early stages here. This is, uh, <laughs> this is Chain Guard, uh, has unfortunately uh, fallen off there. So let's continue on with the rest of this race then. Not much has happened at the start, apart from the chain guard coming off. And the uh, little spin from Derek Hunt, but let's see what we get.
say, coming down the main straight, we come then. And uh, yeah. Harrison Prince, followed by Cameron Marston, Anwar, Cyril Smith, and Jason Byrne, then Dan Milner, then uh, Ben Johnson, Ian Hardy, Josh Poulain, and then Derek Hunt. And then, uh, I'm upset, unfortunately, losing Ian Brownfield due to a mechanical. All kicking off, and it's not begun yet. to the top corner. Quite a big lead at the start of this race already. Uh, so, loads of time left to go from these 10 drivers. Sorry, nine drivers. <laughs> so, down the main straight we go. Number 72 flies up to the top corner, coming down the pit straight into Billy's blind. Harrison Croak, very familiar with the first position places. He's been lingering around there for most of the day. Time of 35.54. Pretty quick time there. The next driver along with that sort of lap time is the 35.91 Cameron Marston. The gap is closing a little bit. So over the line goes Harrison Crook. down the pit straight. battles going on here let's see what we can get as we go uh, two of them that are close going into the top bend and uh, now coming down the main straight so, uh, the the straight. 50 and Jason Bear and Ben Johnson are too close to one another Three, just chilling in second there Hopefully to try and catch up to a very speedy Harrison Crook. Yeah. Growing, yeah. growing 
bigger. We all know the pace of Harrison Crook from previous rounds uh, and even from last year as well. And, uh, it's still not changed here as he is flying through the right-hander towards the top end. And will Beryl Smith got to try and find four seconds and try and be quicker than uh, Harrison Crook. 72 lap time getting a bit slower now because it's a bit colder. As the gap closes down to a 4.61. So we're nearing four minutes 20 on the clock, 4.20. Let's see uh, what we can get from the rest of this race. Uh, so under, well over under halfway. Smooth sailing here for Harrison Crook. Get close to that, I wonder. Uh, as he comes flying up to the down pitch three. Number 43 trying to catch up. The gap is now 4.8 Seventeen on the right corner now of uh, the sixty-four. Dan Milner and Cameron Marston, third and fourth position. Number forty-three trying to catch up. Still with two minutes forty-four left on the clock here, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, we'll be seeing the closing stages of the 177 177 Masters final, but also the closing stages of round three. So far during this race, uh, with two minutes to go, uh, we've lost two drivers. Uh, 14 laps ago was Ian Bramfield. The uh, first lap incident with uh, his uh, chain guard didn't want to be on his car anymore. And uh, Josh Poulain, uh, who uh, we lost 72. two laps ago. 43 trying to push. Now a five second gap. seconds the biggest gap we've had all of this round between a driver and another and it's about three seconds between the second and third as well uh, actually the biggest gap is uh, 5.91 from uh, Jason Bear and Ian Hardy so nearing six seconds and it's not at the front of the grid this time nearing the closing few laps here one minute to go on the clock and Harrison Crook still leading the way with over a five second gap for that lead see Harrison Crook. It's going to be the last lap for him. Uh, and there's such to be the closing stages and so 
So top bend here, 10 seconds. Oh, this is going to be close. Is Harrison Crook going to squeeze out another lap? He has indeed, actually. Three, he went over the line with three seconds left. Right, nothing at all. Uh, so just to rub salt in the wound, make it 21 laps all together. Uh, Harrison Crook for another lap. lap of this race and the last lap of round number three for the Clay Pigeon Kart Club Championships. So through the S's we go and down Sturmy Straight. I don't think so. We're going around the hairpin towards the horseshoe and then it will be to the right hander next. And ladies and gentlemen, taking and we'll take the checkered flag from what is a country mile. It's going to be the number 72 of Harrison Crook. the 177 and 177 Masters complete and that is also the end of the Clay Pigeon Kart Club Championships for round number three. So championship results will be published later on in the month so we'll know who is where on the championship but thank you everybody for listening, watching, wherever you are. Uh, thank you Kirk for joining me and uh, we'll see you all next month for round number four and the Wessex Challenge. Kirk says, fire!